Oh boy, it's stream time. And last, last time, I got to meet the military and uh, get get gunned down by a minigun. So the question is, like, how do I get past that? What am I supposed to do? I didn't look up anything or, like, watch any more gameplay of this. So I still have no idea. Just just as much of an idea as I had last time. I have no clue what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get past them somehow. I mean, I'm guessing I, like, I don't know if I have to go that way, but I think I do. <laughs> and if that's the case, well, I guess I have to try. Or, well, yeah, to progress. So, <sighs> here we go. Load game. I guess this is the latest. Yeah, because I was upgrading my guns, that's right. Still, I don't think that's going to help me in this situation, really. But, yeah. I'll, tr I'll try regardless. Jeez. And it did keep, it did keep the fact that it's nighttime. Why is this? See, I already, I already tried, like, talking to this person here. We got enough duct tape to patch the whole sun up if need be. See for yourself. There's hardly any equipment. It's like life after a nuclear war. Yeah, there ain't nothing special. Well, good luck. I already, I already went through that last time. Um. Uh, I have to use the guide. Hello, guide. What you need? Uh, where can you lead me to? Thank you. Yeah, let's go. At least it's free to get out of the camp, but it's not to go anywhere else. I mean, but at least there is a sort of, like, fast travel, but... Like, what? I wish you could just go back to the camp regularly and not have to use a guide. Oh, already. Yeah, no, last time I, I feel like I was just... I was just so frustrated because it is not... It is not like Shadow of Chernobyl and like... Like... The, I guess the inventory system kind of is, but like... Everything else is like... I don't know. I turn on my light so I don't run into something. Get out my new shotgun. Because that's the last thing I did is I... Bought gun... And upgrade gun. That's what I did. So now... Now I'm just gonna try to get out of here. Hopefully not... Die to something. I was already in the church. Like, I don't need to go that way. As far as I know, the yellow arrow is the main objective, so I'm gonna just follow that. And the gray arrow is just to go back to the camp, so... Oh, don't walk in the water. Because of radiation. Okay, that's stamina. I'm gonna say... right there don't want to walk in it jump over it because it literally will just give you radiation poisoning okay I was gonna say is that a lamp or what is that do not even please I do not want to deal with you yeah just run that way please Oh boy, here we go. Ow, please. Go towards them. Fight them, not me. Oh, 
Well, rest in peace, pal. I could have got a shotgun for free. Take the ammo. Yeah, look at him go. That's right, that's 0 0.3 now instead of 0 0.5, so I can carry more of that. I didn't really clean out my inventory when I was there. But I mean, I really don't have anything to clean out because I don't even know what to be, like, using in this game yet. Like, it's been... I've put three hours in so far, and... Yeah. I don't really know. Um... Guess I go this way... Like, I don't know any other way to go. Hopefully it, like, gets to daytime when I'm there so I can actually see things. Because when I went through that tunnel, I was like... Okay, that did not work at all. Alt enter. Uh, this game does not like running in a smaller resolution than your screen. So do this. There we go. Like, I can hear their thing going off, but like, where else do I go? If I go back even slightly into this tunnel, it's just going to make me go back to the, uh, um, last level, so. They have any information, like, where am I supposed to go from here? Uh... It's just telling me find upgrade. Mark this, please. Okay. Like, why... Why does this not actually mark? Like, what... Okay, so I have to go this way? No. Yes. How do I get over there? Go up here. Talking about the perimeter. Like, I need a sniper rifle or something to get over there. Here we go. Save game. Outside. Tunnel from military? Military. No, military. There we go. Save. Okay. Can they? I don't think they can. Oh, yes, they can. Okay, load game. So, I just have to... Can I just run to the left? Like... Oh, maybe I shouldn't have saved here. Just do it. Put the gun away. No. Like, this part of the game is, like, I might have to look up something because I literally don't know where to go. Don't go past that. Okay, so that is past the tunnel. So, like, what if I... Yeah, I've already done this.
I forgot about the music. Yeah. Like, I need the music to die in, like, one second when I step out from behind the tree. Yep. Here we go. And it begins. I thought I could get to the rock. Like, there- as far as I know, there's literally no- nowhere else to go. Like, I can go back, or I can go forward and get shot at because the fences block you from going any other place. So... Stalker detected, open fire! Standing in the right place. Don't shoot at me. There we go. What? Uh, what? Okay. You said target lost. Take your men to clear the sector. So that's not even. Uh. Like they get- okay, why give an audio cue if it's not actually going to be true? Thanks. Okay, well then I- th I think that's how you're supposed to do it. But like, you have to wait, then, I guess? Oops. Already lost. I guess I have to wait for them to come find me. Get me. Well, save game here. Maybe loading will stop the minigun from firing at you instantly. Behind a rock. Uh. In front of minigun. That's not even true. I feel like, because I'm still so far away. Behind rock. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> that old for military. Okay, whatever. Save. It doesn't let me type any more than that. Oh, good. Oh, they're coming to look for me. Yep, there they are. Take grenade. Yeah, run into the grenade. Come on. Yep, just keep going that way. Still have another. <laughs> I don't. Good. Good work. Oh, I got him, but. <laughs> okay, behind rock, outside tunnel. Does that mean I can run? I'm gonna try. run. Oh. Nope. They instantly know. So, like, what's the point? What's the point of them saying, go search for them, if, like, they apparently don't know I'm there? Like, really?
Like, is this gonna be- is this gonna be a 20 minute stream because... Like... I feel like I shouldn't have to go look up a guide just to get past this. Like, why? Guessing they don't run out of ammo either. Yep. Oh, they do, actually. Please stop. Nope. That was a trick. Like... Why would they even stop firing if they just have unlimited ammo? Like, everything about this part just doesn't make sense to me. Do I just have to deplete their ammo? Did I do it? Nope. Like... <laughs> everything about this just does not make sense to me. Why would this be, like... Literally play... A couple hours of the game and then, uh... Get fired at by a minigun? That you have no... Like, chance of even... Shooting at? Unless you have a sniper rifle already, or a scope, and even then I feel like it would be not effective enough to be worth trying to fight it, because you would still die because they have infinite range apparently. Or well, it's not even that far, but like, the minigun theme is almost, eh. It's like 50-50 accuracy. Like, 50% chance it will kill you, and 50% it won't. Like, they, they literally made an impossible thing. Uh, okay. They throw grenades, too. Everything about this, like, why is this here? In the first two to three hours of the game. Like, can I just Minecraft dig the dirt and go around? Please and thank you. I feel like there has to be a way around, but like, where do I go? This is the only, like, way on the map that is, like, shown. I'm gonna check if the trader has a sniper rifle or something. Or maybe I can go... Like, I don't want to go all the way back to the Clear Sky Camp. But, like... I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Ooh. Another free shotgun. Oh, this one actually is unload. Damage rate of fire. Well, unload, move the backpack, reload this. Because it's a multi shell shotgun rather than just two, like on, in the under, the over under. <laughs> Maybe it's forcing me to use a guide again. Uh... Where do I have to go? What area is this? This doesn't even tell me. Like, it's literally right here. Like... Stalker! 
What do you want? Lead me to to this guy. Is this for me or what? Yes. Cordon. Bring me to Cordon, <laughs> please. Like I wish I could just go there, but like I can't because there's a minigun and military and nobody cares to get past them except for me apparently, so uh, This is a fun game. Like I so like I so desperately want to give the game more of a chance, but I literally can't play the game because of what they did here. Is this the yeah, this is the military. So that means I come out from here and then mutant. So if I try to go to the left, I still get shot at anyway because the fences block me from walking directly left. Like, that's the thing. They literally funnel you into death. There's no way to get around this. Like... The game is a soft block. There is no... Like, it's a soft lock because you could get maybe longer range guns to take them out. I guess. Oh boy. We already. Yeah, we already beat the other faction back, apparently, so. Like. Clear sky. Faction strength 129. Like, we're already... We already technically beat them, so like... Yep. Um... Okay. Okay. I don't need any of this. Uh, yeah, I don't need this. I don't see anything. Well, right. Only one thing still makes big for the army. It's a bullet. Okay. Nice. Go to Cordon with the guide. Okay. The guide didn't bring me to Cordon. The guide brought me to a tunnel that goes in the direction of Cordon, and then I get shot by the military. So, uh, guide, please. Like, I can't go there still. <laughs> How can I help you? You want me to return a pistol? What you need, stalker? I need you to bring- actually bring me to Cordon, please. Like, where do these go? <laughs> like, these go back the- the other direction. They don't go to where I, like, actually want to go.
Yeah, this just goes out here. I guess I go up this way because this way does not work. Like, the way that they are telling me to go is not the right way to go, in my opinion. So I'll just go this way. None of that. Please and thank you. Good thing I have like a hundred and something shells. And this thing is, like, I would say close to semi-auto, so. I'm out of here. Go around. Don't build radiation for no reason. Woo. I'm not going to go that way. Okay, good. It's just wind. I thought it was just going to... Wait. Six. Okay, yeah, it's just wind. I thought it was... The, uh... Just explode me and fling me into the air anomaly. Don't want that. Look for any visual, any potential for it. <laughs> Renegades, we already have this. If I kill them, it'll lower their strength even more, which I'm guessing I'm going to have to do because I don't see a better way around this. And I'm not going to deal with the military. So. Get to hear this sick combat music again. This is the place I captured. I, I don't know what they intend for, for you, but I would imagine the other way is like, don't go that way still. Here they come. Should be coming this way to try to capture it back. Yep. My friends. Standing guard, I see. Oh, yep. Here it is. Wow. They're here. Like, why did the music stop? Oh, because they're not coming at us yet. I guess. Oh, there it is. Still don't see him. <laughs> it's just gonna go on and off. Hey. Let me get out my... This, because I upgraded it. My Viper 5. Okay, run. Now they know. Come get me. <laughs> they throw grenades, like... They didn't do that at all the last time I played. Come on. I know you want this camp back.
Maybe... Maybe they don't. Chase me! There's friends over here to... To say hi. Okay, my guess is they're not going to come out of there. So... How about I just go... Okay, I can't go this way. <laughs> Thanks, game. Am I hitting? I hope I'm hitting. I don't think I'm hitting. I <laughs> hit the music. There's like no way to tell unless they move. Um, they don't even care. I can hear him taking hits. Ooh. I wish they would just come get me. <laughs> They're already done. Juan, standing here just for you. Just for you. Oh, I think they're actually... Come on. What are they doing? <laughs> I thought I just saw something like go across there. What is... Okay. Why? Why are they just standing there? I'm hitting them. I thought. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of ammo doing this. Okay. Where is this autosave? It's back after. Like, I'm not gonna use all that ammo for no reason. That's like... Yeah. Why would I? Now I have to walk all the way back up here. Stalker, the Great Struggle. That's what I feel like it should be called. Okay, if I go across here... See, can I go... Can I just go this way? Please don't be a fence. Welp, exactly what it is, okay. Put a fence there to funnel you towards where they want you to go. I can't even go this way though. Wait, maybe I can. Yes, I can. Sort of. It's still gonna funnel me to where this bridge is anyway, so I 
could have just gone the regular way, but why do that? for anomalous activity like I don't want to fight them at all oh, there's a fence but it doesn't stop me completely so Ooh. okay Maybe I don't have to fight them at the car. I can't see at all, which is fine. Like, I feel like this is not a good idea, but at the same time, I also feel like it is. Save game. Going around the military. And I'm going to take a drink. This is the right way. Can I ignore them? Oh, sure can. Yeah, why? Nope. Sorry. Not dealing with you. Goodbye. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I don't have to fight him, why bother? Perfect. Save game. Got around the military. I mean, I think. So, whatever. I'll just save over it once I do actually get to where I'm s like... Yeah, where, where it wants me to go. Vasily, remember how you promised to get me some shooters? It's not that I mind, Valerian, but think about it. The army's got to wonder why I sold weapons to stalkers. And you think about this, Vasily. If we don't put some heat on those army boys now, they're gonna bleed us dry. All right, Valerian. Tomorrow my man is going to bring you everything I've got. Hey, look. More fences. My favorite part of the game running into a fence that doesn't let you just go straight to where you want to go. Yeah, I have to take this road all the way through here. No wait, maybe I don't. Oh, is this don't the... Come near, or we'll open fire. Okay. I won't then. Bye. Now I imagine this is just like the other game, where stay away, Mark. This is stalker territory. Enjoy your dessert. Okay. I will. Thanks for the bread. Okay. All right. 
like you're not allowed to be alive anywhere. <laughs> anywhere at all. Should I not be wearing the... No, because this isn't like... doesn't say it's clear sky, specifically. Yep, go through your dialogue. You say don't go this way, then I won't. Fine. I'll take the road. Probably get shot at this way anyway. Oh no wait! I see blue! That's guides! I'm allowed here! Hey look, more fences. Can I get over these ones? Not over... Heck? What is this? It didn't tell me about this. Okay. Well, let me, let me actually read what that is. Controls. What is... Oh. Detector. Oh. Okay. For artifacts? Hi. I'm all ears. Oh good, I'm allowed here. Cool. I'm listening. Okay. Uh... Oh, I can't... I can't pull out my weapons here. I was gonna break these crates. Oh, if you got here. something to say, say it. Yes. That didn't hurt me. I really don't have anything to say. I just want to leave. <laughs> now, is this military? No. You're not welcome here, Mark. Uh, uh, okay. Are they gonna come get me? Are they gonna try? Oh, they are. Look at them go. You're already opening fire. What does that matter? I save. Where is this? This is gonna be back here again. Yep. Like I should have just saved my money and bought armor or something. Right, I can't go here. You're gonna like yell at me. Or can I talk to you? <laughs> Do I even dare? Stay away, Mark. This is stalker territory. I want to talk. I'm listening. What's up with you? We're sitting around, keep going, okay? You're not welcome 
here, Mark. At least you don't fire on sight. Can I talk to you? <laughs> I see. No, no, no. I. Uh, okay. I'm having so much fun. Oh, good. Like, at least... Vasily, remember how you Shadow of Chernobyl, you can't, like, ride a reason with them. This it's game, you don't at all. Valerian, but think about it. The army's going to wonder why I sold weapons to stalkers. Okay. Don't go this way. Funnel you to death, I get it. You're only allowed to go one way. Like, this does not feel open at all. This feels like it should have just been a linear path if you're just gonna force me to, like, go, go into death like this. I mean, I don't have to actually go this way. I can go around, but going around just leads to more people shooting at me anyway, so what's the point? Bandits. Mutant. 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 I'm not part of a faction. Why do they just shoot me on sight? I guess because I don't... I don't belong here. They know I'm not from this part of the zone. But I'm allowed in this camp, apparently. Like, what does this even say here? Nothing. Mechanic. Traitor. So there is a traitor. What can I even get from the traitor? I don't have, like, money for anything, I don't think, so... It doesn't matter what I can get, because I don't think I'll be able to buy it anyway, but... You know. I can at least check. I can at least see. I guess. I'm coming, I'm coming. Trade. Sorry if I don't have what you're looking for. It's fine. Don't worry. 54539. Is it red? Oh, this is my stuff. God, it's on this side. I already have a leather jacket. So I'm a mercenary. That's why they don't they don't like me. Cause I'm a mercenary. And this doesn't matter, that doesn't change anything. Like, what do I... Can I, like, join them somehow? Where is this telling me to go? See, like, the arrow doesn't go on... There. But why? Muted. They're stalkers, and I can't go this way because I'm a mercenary, so... Like, uh, bandits? Do I get, like... Am I... Am I okay to go this way? Because I'm a mercenary and bandits aren't the same? Military. Unit. So there's a military. Are the military going up here? Faction war. Statistics. Why are they... 
It says they're green. Like, they... They don't dislike... Dislike me, or wait, no, this is just like, their, their strength is going up? Or something? Stalkers. So like... They're not friends, but they're not enemies. Like, well, if they're neutral, like, if they're truly neutral, then why don't they... Like, give me a chance to talk to them? Question mark? Like, this... This to me doesn't make any sense if, like... Military's not here. But I guess you can't do anything for the military, apparently. Even though you're a mercenary, so, like, wouldn't they be able to hire you, technically? <sighs> Why... Like, it feels like a lot of stuff in this game doesn't make sense. Like... Maybe stuff in Shadow of Chernobyl didn't really make that much sense either, but, like, at the same time, it wasn't, like... Shadow of Chernobyl wasn't so, like... It didn't feel as linear as this does. Like, I'm just gonna go this way, I guess, and fight the military going to the bandits. Let me pull out my shotgun because there's mutants out here, so... What is this? Bandits. The, okay, so the bandits dislike me? Question mark? But they're all neutral over on the other side of the... thing. Like, why are they... Why are they instantly hostile? Like, everybody is hostile to me for no reason, it feels like. Besides, oh, mercenary. But what, what, what's so bad about being a mercenary? That just means you'll, like, do things for other people. Valerian, this is Belly. Is it true that you're getting the stalkers together? It's true, all right. The oh, good. has gotten completely out of line. They even had the nerve to put bandits on our trail. We've decided to fight back. What, go away? Sign me up then! I no. have my own score to settle with them. I'll be over there tomorrow, and I'll bring three more guys with me. So, like, if I fight the bandits, so where they, they'll be my friend? I hope? Like, that's my, that's my reasoning. That's my, like, uh... Thinking. My mindset. They won't cross this threshold at all. Like, this does not... This doesn't feel like... Hey, <sighs> Goblin. What's new over there? I don't know. The army were machine gunning somebody just now, only they don't go far out of their base because they're too afraid. Oh, that, that, no way, it doesn't well, go away. Keep me posted. Don't, don't even, please. <laughs> oh, good. Here we go. It begins. <laughs> They won't cross this threshold. Yep, they won't cross this threshold. Got him. <laughs> I'm dying. It's here, right? Military. The military are watching here. 
which I think is the same as like Shadow of Chernobyl. They were also watching. It's not on the map though. Who is this? Mutant. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's just sandbags. There's five. I don't know if that means... They come. Right? corner. me through the concrete wall. Why? <laughs> like, I feel like this game is so much worse than Shadow of Chernobyl. Like, there's so many things that are wrong with it. <laughs> now I have to start all the way back here. Because they shot... They shot me through the wall because they have x-ray vision. Like, what is going on? <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be playing this game. I should just play um, Call of Pripyat because that's that's the direct uh, sequel to Shadow of Chernobyl anyway, so it would just continue the story, supposedly, I guess. Like, why is this so, like, bad? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, I understand getting shot, you know, kills me. But, like, you have x-ray vision and you're just shooting through a concrete wall. Like, what is going on? I feel like I should just stop playing this and start playing that. Like, why is this like this? Like, they got their zone abilities too, where their bullets become, uh... Able to penetrate, penetrate through everything and they're, uh... Able to see everybody through any object. Like, they got zone powers, too. You're not welcome here, Mark. I don't care. Give me your stuff. Okay, good. At least I got a med kit. Save game. Not around military. Yes, I did, but... Now I have to deal with stalkers that don't want me here, either. So... Because I'm a mercenary, and literally everyone hates a mercenary, apparently. And, and, and like, I don't have any ties to the military, because the military just shoots me on sight, so, like... Uh, well, at least as far as, like... I know, but, like... They just shoot me on sight, so why... <laughs> like, I'm not with the military. Like, this, this, this whole stream is just gonna be a complaint stream, because the whole game is like... I don't know, it just doesn't feel like anything should be like this. I like, I so desperately want to play it because, well, it's a, it's like, it is a stalker game and it's like, the gunplay is actually fine and like, whatever else, but, like, the story, the pacing, like, everything is just, everything else around it is just not, like, it just doesn't feel as good. Oh, 
like the differences between the two games is just it's just like painful to me. No. I don't want to deal with you. There's going to be random Hi, radiation Billy. here. Is it true that you're getting the stalkers together? Yep, radiation. It's throw around. Right. The army has gotten completely out of Did line. Did that give me any the radiation? I can't tell. On our We've decided to fight back. Yep, they want to Sign funnel you into death, so they put radiation there, so you walk into I'll the mutants. Like, and I'll bring three more guys with me. No, I didn't get the shotgun like I did last time. Don't walk on the path, because the path is not allowed to be walked on unless you want to die. Fine. There we go. Regen my stamina. Save. <laughs> Military checkpoint. Checkpoint. There we go. Save. Hey, Goblin. What's new over there? Goblin. The army they were machine gunning here. somebody just now, only they don't go far out of their base because they're too afraid. Well, keep me posted. And like, this too with the enemy ranges, like, literally stand a few feet away from them out of their, like, attack, attack area, and they just, yeah. They just don't care. When before they were like trying to jump at me, but I walked a little bit further away and they wouldn't attack me anymore. Like that happened in Shadow of Chernobyl, but I feel like it wasn't so prevalent that like it was like this obvious. Yep, and they just go walk the other way. Like <laughs> Like, I, 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 like, I don't want to be so harshly cr criticizing this game, but, like, <laughs> it, it, like, what? There's so many things. Save again, because I'm past the dogs. Now they're gonna, like, they're gonna know I'm here because they have x-ray vision, so... Like, why even bother sneaking up to them if they're just gonna know I'm here? Yeah, I can already hear them running. I think. I'm gonna take it as slow as I can go. I know there's a bush here, so it's gonna... Rustle. Yep, here we go. They heard a rustling in the leaves, so they know I'm here to come attack me. Like, okay. Sure. Good thing I got that med kit. I have ten more. Did I buy all the med kits. And that didn't heal me enough, apparently. Yep, shoot me through the wall, I get it. I understand, you have x-ray vision. You can see exactly where I am. You like that, huh? No. Two. Good try. Like, that makes sense. I'm- I'm- I'm in a gunfight, this is fine. Like, this makes sense. You're not shooting through the concrete. Come on.
I'm just gonna keep using a medkit every time I get shot, I guess. Okay, never mind. Master difficulty, aka spray them with buckshot. And they don't die. Uh, here. Hi, you know I'm here anyway. Might as well just keep trying this because... It, it's gonna be the same anyway, pretty much. It's just gonna take longer if I sit there and wait. Here, take a grenade. Good, good job running. Maybe I should have saved some of those. Because that's like the one thing that makes them move away from you. Where they go? I hear him now. Right side. I right, did. Don't want to go this way, but... Standing in the corner? Understandable, that's exactly what I do. There was more of them. There's not just this one. Save game. Military checkpoint. Yes. Run. I hit him. Do I do the- can I do the classic Chernobyl strat? Stand next to a tree and they don't see me? Because I'm in the brush. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that works. Because they, they see the, like, invisible outline of the object as, like, not actually transparent. They can't, they can't see through it. Uh. Glad they didn't fix that. It's like, okay, this game came out a year later. But they used, they reused the same... Assets, I guess? I would think. Besides, like, maybe the weapon upgrades? Like... Uh... <sighs> like, why bother pausing if I can just stand here in indefinitely? Reload. Hopefully makes enough noise to make them come, like, try to kill me. Nope, but I can shoot them in the head again. Maybe not. Going out too far. Yep. Go behind the tree. Ooh. They actually will keep firing when I'm behind it. Ow. That didn't hurt as badly as I thought it would. Grenades don't actually hurt too bad. Ooh, wow! They actually do keep shooting, like... Crazy. That's nuts. That's insane. <laughs> I think they actually judge, like, where they get hit from, like, that- I, I don't even think they can actually see me, they're just firing from where I fire. Oh no, they can see. 
Never mind. They can see. They actually are not blind. They are not seeing a wall. So they did... So it is sort of fixed. You can still kind of abuse it though, I feel like. Maybe because your model leans, so like, they have a harder time seeing it. Okay, 30 bullets. I get it's master difficulty, but like 30 bullets to the chest. Okay? <laughs> 30 bullets. I don't care if it's 9mm. 9mm is more potent than that. It's not going to just to bounce off of them. They have armor, yes, but like... It's not like my bullets are made out of silly buddy. That, like, that I can understand. That was my own fault. I ran out and got shot. Like, should I not... Maybe I shouldn't be playing this on Master. Put on Stalker. Game is... Oh, there we go. Let's see how much easy, easier this is. Yeah, I take so much less damage now. I can literally... Okay. Yeah, like... <laughs> okay. That feels too easy. Veteran. Use. I played the last game. Does that make me a, quote, veteran? How much damage do I take on Veteran? Like, I'll naturally get shot, I think, anyway, so I'm just gonna wait till I do. Thought he was gonna throw a grenade. Let me reload. See, that seems, that seems more reasonable, but like how much, like I got a kill, so I do damage. Like maybe master is too much for this game. Or personally for me. Okay. See, I can't tell. It's so hard to tell. I, like, I want to play on Master, though. <laughs> like, eh, I've already been... Oh, it's back to... Wait, what? Why is it... It switched back to Master. That's why I died so quickly. Oh, because I saved in Master, so it kept it in Master? I think that's what happened. Whatever. Here we go. Master difficulty. They throw grenades. I don't have any more. They can't actually see me. You, you owe me one grenade and you didn't even throw one. Yeah, they actually, they actually do detect you through. Fire! Where do they go? Yep, 20 bullets, at least. Okay. Like, 
Uh, okay. Like, how, how do they take so many bullets, and I take so little bullets? Like, that's not even- it's not even fair. Use veteran. There. Don't resume game, because it's actually messed up the- Like, every time I use the settings, it changes the resolution. Better and they will actually not throw caution into the wind and be careful. Like, which I feel like is more realistic. Like, I get it, they're the military, but like, are they, would they really just like run out when they don't even know who's attacking them? You're gonna throw a grenade, right? Nice try. Like one bullet. Still dying. Like how many bandages do I have to use to stop the bleeding? I used a medkit, I used a bandage. That wasn't enough. Okay. What? I'm not leaving this on veteran. <laughs> Because it still doesn't make sense how little damage I'm doing. Changes resolution two times in a row. There we go. Okay. Still doesn't make sense how little damage I'm doing. Like, what does the difficulty actually affect if, like... <laughs> I don't understand. Like, how does difficulty work in this game? I killed them all? Yes. Jeez. Give me your ammo. Thank you. This is upgraded, so I don't want to drop it. Do I have ammo for it now? Yes. Okay, so that ammo does work for this. Good. No, don't give me my upgraded gun. I guess I'm just playing on... Um... Stalker for now? Like, maybe the difficulty, like, is the problem? Because, like, they still take... I don't even know how many bullets to kill. But... Whatever. Because I don't want to be playing on a novice. But, like, if it gets that bad, I guess I will. Like, I'm a novice to this game in particular. But I've played Stalker before. So, like, I don't know what they're basing the, the difficulties on. Because, like, damage? Damage is not, like, I'm not doing more damage with a lower difficulty or anything. Why don't you holster that weapon and get your butt over Freeze! here, old man? And don't even think of touching that shooter. Not. Good, good. Well, pull out your PDA. Time to share the cash. Don't be thinking it's for nothing. You're paying us to maintain order at the garbage. Understand? Stay right there, old man. Well, it, if it's to maintain order, then here you go. Wow, you're smart for a loser. So I'll take all of this, all of this, okay? Now just you can keep the again. equipment. We're no animals to be stealing your guns and stuff. You'll you'll thank us when you run into some mutants. Believe me, okay? Enough talk. Get out of here. Take care of yourself. Move, damn it, move! What do I? Hi. Are you dumb or something? Piss off! 
Okay. Bye. Okay. Hey, buddy, put your shooter away and come over what here. What you staring at? Come on, spill the beat. Don't move, old man. Keep your weapon pointed at the ground and stay nice and still. Move, damn it, move. Okay. <laughs> Fine. So they don't take my equipment, and I lost 900 rubles. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Let's just do this, then. Because I've already taken through, or taken care of, like, everything. Back this way, so I can just run back. Like, I'm the save scum, but I feel like it really isn't in this game. Maybe because I was playing on Master, but now I lowered it all the way down to Stalker. Oh good. Oh, now I got radiation. Last save, because it's right there. Like, why? This game is so, like... It's so painful to play, but I want to actually get through it. Because, like, there is story to this. Or so I've been told. And, uh, kind of experienced so far, but, like, wait for my stamina to come back because walking doesn't let it come back, like Chernobyl, so, shadow of Chernobyl, okay. Far enough round? Yes, I am. Er, yep, I know the bandit's an enemy, technically. Like, I'm just gonna go spend all my money first before I go through. Because I know I'm going to lose it anyway, so... Where is locked? Hello pal, I'm here to buy everything I can. Nope. Four fifty. And it says it's only worth 300. I feel like I shouldn't sell it. Or actually, I didn't spend that much on upgrades. So. I'm gonna lose all my money anyway, so. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm not buying that anyway, so I'll keep the shotgun. Because, yeah. I don't need shells, I'm perfectly fine on shells. I have 136. And 88 slugs and 18 dart rounds. Give me the med kit. I uh, can buy four of these. You don't have enough money. How do I not? Because they're. They're marked up. There. They can have my 17 rubles. I'm sure that's really worth it to them to steal that from me. Like stealing lunch money from me. Yeah. 
Hey, pal. What's up with you? Okay, yes, I get it. Uh, what are you doing here? For now, I'm gaining experience and saving up some coin. As, as soon as I have enough, I'll buy me a good shooter and armor and head straight for the center of the zone. Rumor has it some guys already made it there and found the wish granter. That's where I'm gonna go. And when I find it, I won't go wrong with my wish. You can bet on that. Okay. Tell me about this place. We in the military used to cooperate. We collected and smuggled artifacts and they turned a blind eye to our business for a fee. Then they started getting too big for their britches. They pocket our loot and even put bandits on our trail. We had what you might call a falling out. Now we got a war on both fronts, the army and the bandits. Okay. Break these because I can't pull out my weapon. What's Got something that needs fixing? Not really. Upgrade. If you find some more upgrade parts, get them over here and we'll see what we can do. Yeah, I have no money to buy anything. Like, I already have these two. So, here I've officially spent all my money. They didn't have any anti radiation meds, or else I would have bought those. Why is there not fighting the bandits over here? Or the bandit, I don't really know. Oh, it is bandits. I guess I'm just gonna walk past them because I don't have any stamina so I can't run. And they already don't care. The clear sky poverty. Yeah. Okay, so I have to ask you. You've, you, you ha you've played this game, correct? So... What difficulty... <laughs> what difficulty... Uh, would, would you recommend? I tried Master. I struggled very hard. Oh. Wait, I don't want to. I don't want to assume you played this, but if you know anyone else who did, what did they play the, this game on? Because <laughs> Master is hard. I had such a hard time. Make sure I collected everything. Because I cannot go forward if I did not collect everything. What is this? Pistol ammo? Master? The difficulty thing is a myth. To play whatever you want. Save game. Military checkpoint. Yes. You don't do more damage or are more accurate. I didn't think so, but like I think I take more damage is the thing. I played on master because I have a fragile eco. I 
I wanted to play on Master because I played Shadow of Chernobyl on Master, and that's what I've, like, heard is, like, you know, the, the difficulty to be playing that on, like... I played it on Master because Master was not as difficult. This game, it feels like you, like, I, I guess, like, I can try to see if there is a difference, but, like, I already kind of did. It feels like I die so much faster, but, because I tried switching them. But, but it was just, it's just painful. <laughs> Let me go through here. Hey buddy, put your shooter away and come over here. We need to have a chat. Stop right there, buddy! Keep your hands where I can see them! You take more damage on Master naturally, okay. Well, if it's to maintain order, here you go. Yeah, take my 17 rubles. Take my lunch money. Move, damn it, move! Did they not even take it? No, they took it, okay. But there is a myth from word of mouth, okay. Are you dumb or something? Piss off! Okay. <laughs> that apparently you are more accurate or do more damage to your enemies on master difficulty. Yeah. Like, I feel like you should... Well, I don't feel like you should, necessarily. I just feel like... It should already be balanced to the point where... You know, that, like... Guns should do the same damage to you as they do to enemies. But... Cause like... If... Like... If that's not the case, then the damage bar doesn't need to exist because it doesn't actually, like, mean anything. Like... If... If they... You know... Like... It's like... It, <laughs> You do the same amount of damage on every difficulty, then I guess, is what what that should imply. I'm guessing, because I was I was gonna say, like earlier, I was shooting at enemies and they take the same amount of bullets on on uh, on an easier difficulty. So the thing is. I just die so much more quickly, and it doesn't seem fair because they can take so many more bullets, and I cannot. Save game. Garbage. There we go. Listen, dumbass. This here's our area and our camp. So why don't you find yourself a road that don't lead to a grave? Okay. You're <laughs> That's why I saved. Yeah. You do the same damage across the board. I'm gonna check something. I wanna confirm something. Okay. Uh... Okay. Oh, there goes my... Yep, okay. There we go. Unless one can prove otherwise, which hasn't been done. Okay. any like is there any point for me to go this way let's go back this way goes up here 
Oh, this goes back behind the military. Dark Valley. This goes to the Dark Valley. This is bandits. I mean, at least these bandits don't shoot me on sight. I'm just gonna walk because I don't want to walk into... Like, well, I don't want to run into radiation. Because apparently these pathways just, uh... Yeah. I don't want to go that way because I can see it. Again, with this thing. Like, why? Why would I ever... Like, I, I can find artifacts, maybe, with it? But I've never... Well, I guess you can't see them. That's the whole, like, point. Using this. go into that. There's somebody that's dead over here. Or maybe they're not dead. Just marking them as a person. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> they're, they're dead. Never mind. Would not be going this way. No, that's just tree cover, okay. I thought it was radiation. Yeah, I don't know what to use that for. <laughs> you gonna be upset with me? Because I'm a merc. No, those are bandits. They're not the same. Why don't you holster that weapon and get your Please, butt over here, old man? Think of touching that shooter. Okay. I Stay stopped. right there, old man. Stay right there, old man. Okay. Move, damn it, move! There, I did. Take my money, I'll go this way now. Are you I did, bye. Like, uh, I don't know where I should be going or what I should be doing, but I'm just doing this. <laughs> like, this this is what's happening. I'm going to the Dark Valley. Valley is in quarantine. Put your weapon away and come here very slowly. No sudden move. Please, holster your weapon and stand still. Try pulling a fast one and you're dead. Standing still, come. Stand still, brother. Yep, come over here. This won't hurt. Am I gonna get knocked out? All right, stalker, stay put. Who are you, and what are you doing here? Oh, this is actually a way I'm supposed to go. Cool. I'm a mercenary. I'm looking for a stalker called Fang. He's probably dead already, and I suggest you don't hang around here too long, unless you want to join him. Why dead? What's going on here? Someone keeps attacking us. They're real professional about it too. We never stand a chance. We control all the roads leading into the Dark Valley, but that don't seem to stop the attacks one bit. The one place you can relax is the base. If you have questions about Fang, the Freedom Base is your best bet. Thanks for the information. Oh, I'm, al I'm allowed? Oh, I'm actually allowed. Wow, I can go in here. Thank you. Uh, Save game. I'm allowed to be here. <laughs> it's crazy. I spelled allowed wrong. <laughs> Save game. Uh, 
I'm allowed. There we go. Save game. Load game. Delete. Yes. There we go. I'm allowed to be here. I'm actually allowed to be here. Okay, those are mutants. They just run. Because I'm out of their attack area. Yep. We're just gonna run in circles. <laughs> so like... The garbage. Cordon. Or cordon. I don't know if I'm saying it right or not. Okay, freedom. So I can go this way. What is this? I guess this is the base? Hey, you can come attack me now. No, oh, can't touch me. No. Oh. No, oh, can't touch me. No, oh, now you can. Okay, so this is the base, I think. Or is this the base? I can't tell. Okay, no, this is just nothing. There's nobody here. Good. Ooh! Hey, <laughs> three med kits in one box. Uh, this doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel right, there's like no one here. Like actual standing buildings? How is there no one here? Oh, there's nothing in this. Not yet, I guess. Shotgun. Pellets. Shells. Okay, here we go. Let, let me, let me through please. Am I allowed here? I am allowed here. Hi. Well, save game. I'm allowed to be here. Yes. Crazy. What brings you here, stalker? How can I help you? You need a guitar. I don't want to do that. So, what did you want to tell me? Yeah, you don't have anything to... Okay. Where am I now? Oh. Did I just... Did I avoid the military altogether? That'd be cool if I did, but I'm guessing I didn't. <laughs> Unless nothing spawned. Okay, I was gonna say. Here they go. Mutant military. Stalkers. Yep. 
and it's still funneling me to death. Save game. Behind the military. I'm just gonna say military tunnel. Three. Yep, here they go. Five. Hey, uh, you're really getting me. <laughs> Look around the corner and just walk back the other way. I like that. Yep. Go ahead, throw a grenade, wherever you are. Good job. I'm surprised that didn't blow them up. Or oh, they didn't blow up somebody else. Ow. They hit me once, so now they're just gonna fire blindly. Got it. Throw it. Ow. Oh, they're out here. Can't even hardly see him. I'm gonna die. Good thing I saved before I got here. You can just hear the excitement in my voice. Can I do a trick where I, uh, don't fight anyone? Because that seems like the path to be going until I actually have, like, equipment. I can. No, wait. I can, but they have a minigun. <laughs> so I'll just get shot in the back if I ignore them. I forgot about that. Nobody to help me. Okay, I got him. No sleeping. Look around you. Are not? Okay, there. Now they're dead. the one piece of cover far too long they actually started going the opposite way now stay where you are their thing no one's dismissed Stay 
Sounds dismissed. <laughs> Same game. No one's dismissed. No sleeping. No one's dismissed. Look around you. No sleeping. No one's dismissed. Look around you. No sleeping. Somehow my inventory is nowhere close to pool. That's one thing that has changed. Because I feel like I would be, like, carrying too much stuff already if I was playing Shadow of Chernobyl. Didn't want that gun. Do I, though? Let me actually look at it. Okay. Why? There we go. I'm gonna say the stats were not showing up at all. This one's better. Minus handling. Load. Top. Guess I can start using the AK now, because I'm actually getting ammo for it. game. Military. Dead? I don't know if they actually are, but I hope so. That's the first aid button. Well, I found out the first aid button. I didn't want to use one because I was already out of combat. Now I know. Yeah, and I'm, I'm fine. I'm healed anyway. So I definitely don't want to use that. What is this? Mutant. I don't think it's just spawned. Stalkers. Mutant. Mutant. Okay, no military. For now. Yeah. Oh. Save game. Factory. See, because there was... There was an artifact here in Shadow of Chernobyl, so I want to see if there is one. Clear sky. This is different from Shadow of Chernobyl. There's not a random gas can over here, because in Shadow of Chernobyl I blew myself up with it. By stabbing it. By accident. You know what? Do I... Do I take the energy drink? I suppose. Because you can't regen energy- well, you can't regen stamina while walking, even, so... I guess that's the way you do. Hector. It was back- it was like under here, but now there's a thing on the ground here. In this game. And there's nothing actually in it. Wow. Yep. Absolutely nothing. And now I think I'm stuck. 
Yep. Oh, 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 no, I'm not. I thought I was actually stuck under there. It w would not surprise me, honestly. It's so bright going through there. It looked like someone's headlamp was shining through. I think I've been up here before in Shadow of Chernobyl. But I think this was also different, too, in that. I'm not gonna go that way. There's actually this up here. What's in it? Is the suppressed pistol in this? Nope. But there's medkits and bandages, so... I'll take it. I'll take anything I can get. I feel like after this I should play Shadow of Chernobyl again. I've already played it like two times through and spent 80 something hours, but I feel like I should just go back to play it to compare it to this game. Because I feel like it was ridiculously easier than this. Like, the difficulty was not this bad. Or not as bad as Master on this, I guess, but like now it's going a little bit better because I'm not taking like excessive amounts of damage when they take, you know, so many more bullets. Nothing. Okay, just just the wind. Nothing actually is going going on there. I thought I was gonna get blown up by an anomaly. Not yet. I guess. Why is... Okay. Like, YouTube does not keep up. Or, well, it, like, breaks the playback for my preview. Oh, I'm am I allowed? Get away from the army, you lucky devil. I've got a feeling there's a reason for you being here. Pop in and see me if you're in the area. I am. Hi. I'm all ears. I'm allowed to be here. So this is Cordon, right? I think, well... No wait, this is where the... Ah, this is where the military checkpoint is actually. Then this is more military, yep. So this is exactly like, I think this is like Shadow of Chernobyl, like they, they were here last time too, and that, so. Save game, I think this is Cordon. Cordon, 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 whatever. Hey, Mark, what brings you here? Come on. Wolf. You have a mask this time. Here to see... Stidorovich. He's in the bunker just outside our village. Thanks, I'll go see him now. Got any work for me? 
one of my boys can't seem to deal with others thinking he's a rookie, so he's decided to take out a pack of dogs to earn some respect. He's a sharp lad, and he's got a great shot, but he's young, you know. I worry about him. You think you could give him a hand? No problem. Where can I find him? Here are the coordinates. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that after I talk to, uh... The bunker... Bunker man. Hi, uh, nice to see you. So, shall we talk business? Hello, Mark. Tell me, what brings you here? They say a stalker was here recently, looking for rare components. You remember him? Hmm, I see so many stalkers in here, it's a pain to remember them all. Any reason I should strain my brain for you? What, a, what would help jar your memory? Now we're talking business, I like that. Well, here's the thing. I've been here for a while. My business is up and running, I get different orders here and there, and people trust me. I have a problem with my last order, and the trouble is the client is very important, and the loot he's after is unique. Everything was going fine. Stalkers would get the loot from inside the zone, and the army boys were supposed to ensure they could get it through the cordon. Well, the two parties started bickering over something, and now the whole place has gone crazy. The result is, the stalkers are fighting the military, and nobody's got a clue where the loot is. And that doesn't suit me at all, because the order needs to be completed. So, help me get the case with the loot, and I'll tell you all about your stalker and his components. Deal? Yes, yeah, so what exactly needs doing? Visit the stalkers by the embankment. They've set up some sort of base there, and that's where they're holding the captive military commander, Kalecki. I don't care what you do at that base, I don't care if those fruitcakes want to continue playing Robin Hood's Merry Men, all I want is that case and the loot that's inside it. For starters, try talking to Valerian, the stalker leader. I'll let them know you're coming on my behalf. Deal. Come on, tell me what you got for me. Hey, Merc, I'm- Great. What do you have? Oh, you have the classic sold-off shotgun. A sawn off shotgun with two side by side barrels. While much lighter and more compact than a full shotgun, it is only effective at close range. Come One on, of the most tell popular me what you weapons got for me. among rookie stalkers. Yep, okay, cool. I actually already had this though, I think. Bandit jacket. It's the worst protection in every regard. Don't just stand there, eh? Ah. Yeah, pal. Do you have? No, don't have ammo for the AK. Relax. Don't be shy. What brings you here? Don't forget, I still need that case. Don't worry, I'll go get your case. After I. Help with uh, this. This way. Stop waving that gun. You got my attention. I'll go help the rookie stalker, or the not rookie stalker. I don't know. I'll go help the young lad, as it is uh, to wolf. As they are, to wolf, I guess. Hello, young lad. What are you doing? Let me get this out. Task failed. Guess I should have saved. Because I gotta go talk. What brings you here? Come over and we'll talk. I like how they don't start attacking him until, like, well, I guess he initiates the attack. Question mark? Can't remember. Already. 
Let me talk to you. Hi, hello, ma. Now we'll visit the. Okay. Bring me that case as soon as you find it. Save game. Stop waving that gun. Got that gun. Come on, build the beam. No. Same. Vodka and bread. Which means... I think there's stuff in these houses to find. Not this one. If you got something to say, say it. Okay, you're... A guide. Nope. I'm listening. The this has a way or this is a place to climb up. Now is there anything to loot? Nope. Okay. Ladder mechanics are the same. Drink. You don't care that I take them all. Nah. And nothing up here. Be back. Do this. Does this lead to anything? It's, it's solid. It's just completely solid brick. It's it doesn't even have a place for like this the smoke to actually come up. That's that's nice. Yeah, here we go. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Hello, pal. What are you doing here? Okay, you you said the same thing as someone else. Ooh. Uh, please, you're blocking the path. Yolki, palki. Знать бы раньше, что столько таскать на себе придется. Патрон, еда. Да, весит все это дело дофига. Please, I don't want to stab you. I just want to break the box behind you. Okay. Да, кишки скоро в узел завяжутся от местной жратвы. Вот это грустно. Nothing. Nope. Okay. Maybe there isn't anything here. Because this technically takes place before. I'm listening. Before um, Shadow of Chernobyl, so. Did I check this all the way back here? Yes, I did. Ow. If you got something to say, say it. I think... Did I check all the buildings? These are the only two I'm not sure about over here. 
there. Mm. Oh, there we go. Grenade. This is the last building. Nothing? I guess not. I don't let you come through because if I try to walk towards you, you just block me in. Okay. Well, that's everything. Yep. Check. So now... Help. Young lad. Like right over here, yep. Get this out because apparently I'm not fast enough with the shotgun to kill everything that is attacking them, so. Ah, this time. Okay, we got it this time. Maybe it's over. And yeah, maybe. This may not be over yet. Thanks everyone! Dismissed! <laughs> okay. Escort the stalker. Come with me. Safety, friend. sure there isn't actually anything to kill you. I'm listening. Ask away while I'm in the mood to answer questions. So hot had you tired of being a hero yet? Get away from me, I'll deal with the beast myself. This will show them they'll never call me a rookie again. What can you offer me? Not nothing interesting. Okay. Trade. I don't have anything anyway. Oh, there. If you got something to say, say it. Oh, what? I didn't already do that? Well, it's just beyond the railroad embankment. It's a real stalker haven out there. What? Oh, a job. Oh, okay. Thanks. I followed that stalker just like you asked. <laughs> Great work, stalker. I hope that taught him, uh little humility. Okay. Got any work for me? Okay, good. Tell me about this place. We're at the cordon. The outside world is just beyond the military outpost and everything on the other side is the zone. Although you would hardly think so by looking at this place, Anomaly's artifacts are few and far between and even monsters are a rare sight. It's quiet in these parts, quieter than in the rest of the zone anyhow, because the military try to keep everything under control. Okay. Tell me about yourself. I'm the boss around here. I'm teaching these greenies and nerds how to 
not become mutant feed on their first trip into the zone. It ain't easy, you know. I've spent a good chunk of my life in the zone, and I've been trying to get out for some time now. God knows how long I've spent at the cordon. But it's like this place just doesn't want me to let me go. It's either a military raid or another mission or a profitable job. And every time I think, okay, just this once and then I'm out of here. But here I am. What can you offer me? I saved this piece of loot specially for you. It's in the army crate on the edge of the cordon. A piece of my heart goes with it. How much is... How much is that going to set me back? Oh, okay, here we go. Make a deal. 450, that's literally... Actually, like... 50... That's only 50 rubles less than what I just got. So what's actually in there? First aid kit. Bandage. No, I'm not interested. Yeah, because I already got it, I think. Alright, bye. Don't be a jerk, holster your weapon! I did, don't worry. Ooh. Take all this. Like, I'm still not over the carry weight limit, somehow. Oh, I can go this way now. I think. Maybe. Military. Target. Bus stop. What is, is this the... I'm guessing, like, this is bus stop right here. Mutant. Stalkers. Mutant. Military. Come on, what's... What's down here? Is there anything down here? I don't know. Oh wait, what does it say? Village center. Okay, well then this is... Village center. I'm all ears. Which is technically part of the cordon, I guess, but... Can't go directly across this bridge because it's ra irradiated, I think. Put this back on. Because the only person I am defending now is myself. Okay, so this doesn't. Okay, well, I guess I'm switching back. Oh. Well, didn't mean to do that. Good thing I have these. They're killing our guys! Where are you? Don't take us! Now we'll give them help for sure. keep moving up when I probably shouldn't be. Can they not hit me here? Maybe they can, but it's just not. Whew. Did you really build this out there? Swing by 
try the base sometime for your reward. Maybe it's over. Yeah. I guess. This may not be over yet. There. Not bleeding anymore. I want all the ammo. Because I spent... I don't even know how many bullets. Eh, not that many. I don't think. At least. Okay. Yeah, now this is kind of playing like Chernobyl was. It was just like... Master difficulty in this game is just real fun. Okay, and I'll just take this right away because I think it takes up more carry weight than the other thing. Two. One. Okay, dead stalker. Rest in peace. this. Eat it right away. So tell me, what's up? So I saved one one out of I don't even know how many people that were here. Come on, spill the beans. Spill the beans. No. There. Now I'll be healed. Actually talk to you now this time. Don't just stand there twiddling your thumbs. Go to the base. If you've got something to say, say it. Oh, I'm allowed to be here. Cool. Stalker Bridge. Yes, I'm allowed to be here. So tell me, what's up? How can I help you? You can't. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I can't then. What's the black hole on it? What's that black hole in the bridge? Man, we ain't got a clue either, but whatever we throw it in in there disappears. We usually throw all of our trash into it to protect the environment, you know. But then we saw piles of our trash in an anomaly in one of the tunnels. Some really weird things are happening in the zone. It's crazy. How can I help you? You can't. Oh, well, okay. I'm all ears. Uh, okay. Nothing I can do for you either. Am I like... Am I loud up here now? What are you looking at? Yeah, it just goes all the way. That means I can I can only go this way then if I want to be up on the bridge. I have energy drinks, right? Eh, come on! No, no, come on! Unless there's an invisible wall here, which there might be. So I might have to go around the other way. Just fine. Because I can just do that like this. Yep. Hi, pal. You killed me before. Deactivated. And now reactivated. If you got something to say, say it. Nope. Save game. <laughs> Come 
on top. Stalker Bridge. Here I go. Okay, save game. Uh, maybe black hole? Okay. <laughs> Ammo here. Woo. Uh, save game. <laughs> Other side of black hole. The heck? I guess I can't go back that way now. Uh. Oh. Now I'm carrying too much. Finally. There we go, not anymore. Don't try. Dogs. So wait, is that... Like, this is just... Yeah, it's right here again. So it really doesn't, like... Put me anywhere, like... I thought it was gonna put me somewhere where military were, or something like that. What is over here? You in. You in. Bandits. You in. Collect your reward. I'm gonna do that, cause it's AK bullets too. Oh, well I have to go there anyway, so... Perfect. Oh, gonna bring that line when I am at the therapist. Okay, I'm sorry that my, like... I was so invested. I didn't read the message until now. I don't know what line I said, or what, whatever, but... Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I've been, I was just paying attention to the game and I didn't, didn't look at the chat for so long. Hello. Okay. Well, go back to it, I guess. See, the question is now... Is it random? Like, will it bring me somewhere else if I do it again? Well, 
that's why I saved. So I can try to jump onto the other side again. Put this away. Put that away. Okay, here we go again. Okay. <laughs> Save game. So now, what bring me to the same place? Does I'm just gonna load back. It does. And then that away. Yeah. Well, I guess. I was gonna say, how are you gonna hit anything from up here, but I guess you can use darts and slugs, so... I guess that's how. Let's see, he's using a shotgun. I'm all ears. Hello, I am here now. Gonna go. We've been waiting for you a long time. Go see the leader, Stat. I'm listening. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go get my reward first. I'm coming, I'm coming. Tell me about yourself. I'm a traitor, although I haven't been. Wait, did I. Okay, no, I didn't read this. As you can see, we only just got here. Father Valerian said that you can be who you want to be, and I decided that I'm a traitor there and then. And why not? I've got the skills and have known Sidorovich well enough to do as he does. Heck, I was renting out comic books for cash to students back at grade school. Eh. Those were good days. Anyway, I'm kind of a natural businessman, you know? So here I am, getting my head around a new profession, so to speak. Right now I buy my stock from Sedorovich, so the prices aren't great, but I do have things that might interest you. Some of the loot our boys brought back from the raids. So you think life at the cordon will change? Oh brother, we're gonna start living the good life now. Those army douchebags are gonna leave us alone and stalkers will reap the benefits. We'll be able to get some quality RR at Cordon after a long raid. And equipment quality will improve a great deal. On top of that, we'll get plenty of cash for our loot. Just not like before when the military took all of our profits and left us scraps. Just you wait, we're gonna have some fun with those bastards yet. Maybe send a few bullets their way at night, just keep them on their toes. That sure sounds fun to me, don't you agree? Heh, anyway, things will be different now, no doubt about it. Hey, <laughs> can I help you? Help? Well, perhaps you can. You see, we've only just set up our base here, and before we even had the chance to secure the area, bandits started flocking here like flies to shit, robbing stalkers as they're bringing loot, bringing me loot. If this keeps up, I'm gonna ha be broke before long. Another bandit squad has appeared right next to our base. Could you teach them a lesson for me? Maybe another time. Yeah, because I've already, I've seen them already. Excellent. Nice doing business with an honest stalker. I still what have to click my board. You got something for me? 
Yeah, you helped us out good, buddy. Here's your reward. Thousand rubles. Nine by eighteen rounds, a hundred. And five for five by thirty-nine, a hundred. Sorry if I don't have what you're looking for. No, you had exactly what I was looking for. Now I have more ammo for the AK. Even though I already have like three hundred and sixty-two bullets, but uh I'll have to see if that's gonna be enough. You know, take my something to say. Take some of my grenades, because I will actually keep these kind of. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I'll take. I'll keep three, so I have a little bit of space. The Viper Five, I might have to store somewhere because it's like, how much ammo do I have for it? Actually, that 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 will be the determining factor. Nine by nineteen. I have sixty-three bullets for it, and I feel like it's getting more rare to find bullets now. If you got something to say, say it. Is this this isn't locked anymore, yep. Save game. Uh where am I? Where actually am I right now? Tell for leader. This whole area is cordon. <laughs> well, save game. Cordon <laughs> base two. Howdy, Merc. We don't see too much of you at the cordon. What brings you here? Sidorovich sent me. From Sidorovich, you say? So, you know about the commander too? All right, I'll be straight with you. We used to cooperate with the army. They'd allow us to transport goods safely through the outpost and let us in on some useful information. We paid well for their services. But then we found out that jerk of a commander worked for both sides. He supplied the bandits with our whereabouts. Then he went and sold two of our guys as slaves at the garbage. That was the last straw. And you attacked the military? Yeah, I guess we got a little carried away. Can't figure out what to do now. We're holding the commander hostage, which is a kind of guarantee that the army is not going to bomb our asses back to the Stone Age with their choppers. We can't kill him, but we can't let him go either. This sly son of a bitch knows that we need him alive, and he's not caving in a damn inch. Trouble is, he's the only one who knows where the loot is hidden. If we don't deliver that loot to Sidorovich, he won't do business with us ever again. If we could only make this army best and play by our rules, it would be a whole different ball game, believe me. I'm gonna go chat. Oh, I'm gonna go have a chat with the commander. He might crack and tell me where the case with the loot is. Well, I guess I go talk to the commander. Oh, this is the person I saw before. Walking to the commander. Okay. And I'm actually gonna do a quick BRB. I will be right back. It will not take it will not take that long.
Okay. I have returned. And now I actually go talk to the commander. Hello, pal. What's so interesting, huh? Freaking idiots. What you staring at, ass face? Ha, ah, it's funny seeing a military commander behind bars. Laugh all you want. If you're here to find out where I hid the case with the loot, you're in for a disappointment. Go back to your beloved zone. My boys are gonna obliterate your pathetic posse soon enough. And as for your ringleader, we will hang him on the bridge so everyone can see what you get for messing with the military. He's not my boss, I'm a mercenary. Oh really? Hmm. And how much would you charge for your services? What if I ask you to help out my boys by taking out those snipers at the railroad in bank? Too expensive for a rat like you. Get lost and stay lost, Merc. What else do you want? So, how did you end up in the Stalker Slammer? Think you're funny? Man, if we were talking under different circumstances, I would give you a different answer. I am tired of this shit, buddy. The guys I started out with in the military have all got their shiny stars and decent outfits to run in better places than this. You think I got nothing better to do than chase people like you around the zone? They've had enough of this, this shithole, the friggin' zone, the, the bastard stalkers and that Sidorovich cocksucker. And let's not forget the mutants. We lay down our lives to stop them, but they just keep on coming, and, and everyone on the outside just goes on and on about how we have to protect the world from the horrors of the zone, and we won't let it happen. Generals, those morons on TV, you could drown in their bullshit. And how many of these top brass have ever been on a raid in this place, crawling on their damn bellies in between anomalies, huh? How many of those lazy sons of bitches have cleared the sector or, or spent the day chasing stalkers through the swamps? Those bastards are always using the army to plug the messiest holes. Well, if you're so tired of us, then why do you allow smuggling to go on? So what if I loot to the cordon for some cash? Huh? I live and I let others live, understand? Do you know even what my official salary is, asshole? Exactly, you try living on that. They pay me nothing, and they expect me to feel pride in my job and in my country. The bosses are making a killing out of this zone, just like everyone else. Why shouldn't I? My job is to do what I am ordered and survive. So, I am surviving as best I can. Curse this whole place and all the assholes in it. I don't know whether to shoot them all or to blow my own brains out. If you're so principled, how come you've been selling bandits and info about stalkers seems like deceit to me. Deceit? So what? I don't give two shits about you or your kind. You're not even supposed to be in here. You should have been shot on sight as soon as you crossed into this zone. No shit, those are actually my orders. Trouble is, you can't get much of a dead body, and I am due better compensation for my service here. The army won't pay it, so I gotta take it for myself. As for your interfaction conflicts, <laughs> I really couldn't care less. You can kill each other all you like. You won't hear me complaining. <laughs> Alrighty, bye. Don't stop on your way out the door, and keep going till you hit an anomaly. What else do you want? Get I... lost and stay lost, Merc. What you staring at? This ain't no zoo. Okay, well, I literally looked at every uh every option for dialogue, I guess. So did you learn anything useful? He's a stubborn little asshole, doesn't pay oh, doesn't say anything about the case. Instead, he goes on and on about his buddies saying they won't give up on him and he will definitely, oh, and will definitely come save him. Of course they'll save him. The rat bastard owes them a whole bunch of dough. He ran their operations on his own and stashed the cash away somewhere. Listen, I've got an idea. The commander's got only two men he can count on. They served together at the outpost and he cut them in on the deals, so they'll do whatever they can to get him out. 
If we dispose of them, the bastard will realize nobody's coming for him. He'll crack, and we'll beat out of him the location of the stash with the loot. We split the money, and Sidorovich gets the case. What do you say? That's an option. You got any ideas on where I could find Kalitsky's friends? I have this feeling we won't have to look for them. Kalitsky's buddies are wandering around here somewhere planning to attack us. A small squad has been spotted at the elevator. Help us destroy them. I'll do what I can. Eliminate the military at the elevator. I'm all ears. What's going on? This, I guess this is it. Ow. What if I pull this baby out? Grenade? No. Ow. Ow. Where are my grenades? I have them. Don't I? Yes. But why are they not? They're... Like, I don't need to equip them. They just come out, usually. I'm hitting four and they don't. That's complete. Well, I didn't do hardly anything, I feel like. We spotted their second squad in the depot. Merck, get on over there. Guys, it ain't time to relax yet. All right, people, that's enough. That's it. I was just getting warmed up. Just take the ammo then. previous fight. There we go. But what? Oh, because my inventory is yeah, was maxed out again. Current Granata. Apparently I can't pull him out. I don't know why. Kicks in, I get hit once. That's fun. Then it stopped. I feel like the music just does not work in this game at all. Like, I feel like I should just turn it off because it does. Like, it doesn't add it. Well, no, but. Uh, See, but then I won't have there. Is it dynamic music? Is that why? Okay, there we go. The game was like in a window again. Okay. 
day, jeez. Your ammo, give me your med kit. Give me that flash drive. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to redo all that dialogue and all that fighting. Here we go. What you staring at, ass huh? What else do you want? Get lost in. What else do you want? Okay, that's everything. Go talk to the other commander on the stalker side. So did you? Of course, I have the. Okay. Save game. Kill military at elevator. And I don't really have to, like, do hardly anything, like last time, I think. Take one of these so I can just run. Take another one so I can run. Here too now. Hey, buddy, still remember us? Oh, my grenades actually work this time. Um. Sorry. Are you military? I can't even tell. I think so. Get him either time. They die like that every time. <laughs> Did all of the stalkers die this time? No. Okay. Squad has been taken care of. We spotted their second Let's squad at the up. depot. Merc, head on over there. You know, why do I pick up... Now, why am I even picking up this ammo? 
анекдот. Как-то пропал один долговец. Должен you know быть с утра, а нет. You take that. Because I don't use the pistol. Save game, kill military squad, kill military at depot. Here we go. I heard you. Disconnected. Don't worry, not much really happened. Didn't <laughs> I didn't die and I didn't kill anyone more than I already had killed. Ow. <laughs> That's what you get. Don't shoot me in the back. There we go. Got the flash drive again. Palace is still behind this tree. Got him. Okay. Still more. There is. Still not dead somehow. That's the army dealt with. With his buddies dead, Halecki knows he ain't gonna pray. That army rat is gonna change his tune now, that's for sure. Merc, head back to the base. Okay. before unless they already got killed which is possible I feel like there should be loot up here if I can climb all the way on the roof like this go down there to get that, whatever that is. Thing up here. No. Thing over there. Don't think so. But that looks like something, so I'll go check. No, okay. out all this and make sure there's nothing up here to collect for state. Okay. 
Ooh, well that's that's something to collect. Nine by eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Having not having no pistol and pistol ammo. So tell me a what's lot, up. I feel nothing about. I just want the grenade that was behind you. Save game. <laughs> Done. There we go. Save. the save indicator like icon thing every once in a while but like why it's not actually saving anything as far as I know so why does it even show up Okay. Is this game literally just named... Well, no. Clear Sky is the group, but, like, the sky is actually clear. <laughs> In Shadow of Chernobyl, like, it only clears up once you go to the center of the zone. Yeah. And once you go to the power plant or whatever. Like, once you destroy all the, uh... Okay, well this, this is... This is spoilers to Shadow of Chernobyl, but I did already, like, go through the game. But... Like... Once you destroy all the pods... With all the... Subjects in them... Of, um... What is it called? I don't know. I don't even know what it's called. When you get the decoder ending, I guess. Quiet, but yeah. Wait a little longer. Once you finish the game, and the sky clears up, you know that that that's that's. Don't th break up. Wait. That's the only time the sky is clear in Shadow of Chernobyl, as far as I know. And then in this game, the sky is actually just normal. So that part is that also part of the name clear sky because the sky is actually clear it's not filled with like anomalous activity or radiation or whatever like it's not dark clouds and all that it's actually just regular sky I'm here we go Ander talk too. See what being stubborn gets you? Your friends are dead and you're still here. No one's coming to save you. Tell me where you hid the case. Okay, I tell you, bastards. It's in a house not far from here. In the end. Would you look at that? The little shit cracked like an egg. <laughs> the stash coordinates are in your PDA. Take what you find to Sidorovich. He's waiting. Okay. It's all a red dot. Commander... <laughs> Talks... Too. 
Oh. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to kill the bandits anyway. At that place, I didn't want to, but I guess I'll have to. Get my armor I'm fixed listening. first. Right, you guide. Okay, and you're the repair person over here. What can I do for you? Uh, tell me about yourself. I value my independence, which is why I've always worked on my own for myself. But when I heard that stalkers put a squeeze on the military and set up a base of their own, I didn't hesitate to come here. You know, I've met all kinds of folks in the zone, and of all of them, I like stalkers best. They're okay, you know. They don't have any stupid codes, rules, regulations, and all that crap like the other factions. If you ask me, only stalkers should be allowed in the zone in the first place. If that were the case, making money would be easier for us traders and things would settle down as well. Anyway, that's why I decided to help these lads. Technician is a rare sight in the zone, tell me what you can do. Well, don't expect me to supply you with a trendy, with trendy gadgets or complicated devices, but I've got a good head on my shoulders and I'm good at what I do. Don't be surprised if my skills end up saving your life someday. Most of the time, I repair weapons and armor, but with the right components, I could also improve your gun and equipment. If you want to know exactly what I can improve, take a look at the upgrades. I'm sure you'll work it out. I take it you've seen much of the zone. Have you seen anything unusual? Unusual? After that massive emission, I saw something really weird on my way from Agriprom. A piece of land that used to be normal changed became all warped and twisted. My radiation detector was going mental even before I got close. Later on, the boys told me it's one of the most powerful anomalies. The energy coming out of that place was enough to power a city block for weeks. The area is dangerous as hell, but the thing is, you can find some very rare artifacts by that twister. In any case, if you ever come across a place like that, be very careful. Got any work for me? There is something. I have been looking for diagrams of some upgrades for a while. If you come across any, keep them and bring them to me. Here's a list of the ones I'm looking for. Okay, I'll bring whatever I find. Uh, okay. If you need anything else, come by. 745 rubles. So, like, does it... I don't think it matters if it's damaged. Armor condition. Yeah, this is armor condition, but what does the 11... 11 still means resistance, and that's what it was before, so... It's still the same now, actually. So I don't need to repair it, actually. I don't need to do anything to it, if that's the case. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's only if Come it back breaks. Later. I might get but in your ship. I'm not even close to having it break, I don't think. Would you stay? I may have lost my loot, and my friends may be dead, but I have gotten out of tougher spots. You want to know where my stash is? I do, and what do you want in return? Help me get out of here, Stock. Just hand me a pistol while nobody's looking, and I'll do the rest myself. Ha, dream on, buddy. I ain't giving you my shooter. Alright, bye. Don't stop on your way out the door, and keep going till you hit an anomaly. Stock, I may have lost. Help me get out of here. Get lost, Stock. I may have lost Okay, money, or if I say may be dead, but I have gotten out of tougher spots. You want to know where my stash is? I don't need your stinking stashes. You're a dirty rat and I'm got not going to help you. Okay, it doesn't good open up stop. anything. I am don't stop. Stop. Good stop. Stop. Good stop. 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 Get lost and stay lost. Nerd. Okay, let me let me see this. There we go. Oh, this is still...
Okay, good. YouTube was saying I wasn't live, but I actually am because the playback just got stuck again. Like... <laughs> yeah, it works fine. Like, the stream is actually fine, it's just the page where it's telling me, uh, like, showing me the chat and stuff, this, it just does not work properly, apparently. Because it just keeps getting stuck, like, a minute behind, when it should not be a minute behind. I guess I... I do everything I could right now. Not... No, not particularly. I can still trade. With you. What can I do you for? Sorry if I don't have what you're looking for. Yeah, you have exactly what I'm looking for. Don't worry. I'll just take all your medkits. Jeez. I, will I take all the medkits? I don't know. No, I'm good. I'm good on medkits, actually. I have, like, 9 and 14. Ooh, these... Why these are so expensive? A specialized medical kit for dealing with physical injuries and bleeding. Packed full of blood coagulation... Oh, coagulants, painkillers, antibiotics, and Im immunos... Immune... Immunostimulants. Okay. Cool. Basic medical kit, handy for treating various injuries, wounds, burns, poisoning, and others. Yeah, this doesn't do, like, bleeding, so... Yeah, just, just take... Take a majority of those, because I'm probably going to use the military ones first. And... Let's see... Balancing automated parts. I'm guessing that's for. Got something? Can I give this to you? Oh, I found the information about upgrades you were looking for. Cool. Thirteen fifty-five. Okay. If you find some more upgrade parts, get them over here, and we'll see what we can do. Okay. So now, what did I upgrade on this? Scope mount. Yes, okay. Five five six to five forty five. I don't want that because I have plenty of ammo for it. J I mean, maybe I should do the 9 by 18 but then I shouldn't have, like, dropped all of it. Yeah. Do it. Because then it will actually make the gun, like, usable more. So I'll have to get rid of this. Wait, what? Okay, I was gonna say, can I do... Modify the bread. <laughs> yes, please. Rate of fire, I don't care about with the AK. Accuracy, no. Recoil! Yes. Yes, I do. I just spent, like, all my money on that. Well... Oh, well, I did spend some on this, too. Actually. Whatever. But now I can sell my... Got something to sell? 9x19. Yeah, take all of my 9x19. I don't care about it anymore. And take, like, five of these bandages. Bandages are actually, like, more useful, I think, in this game. So I'm gonna hold a lot of them, I guess. Oh, well then, I guess... No, because I have... Yeah, I have the med kits. I'll hold 20. There. 
don't want that. Okay. Okay, I keep seeing red dot. Hello? Enemy? Reload. I don't have any ammo for this. I guess I'll just use the AK, but I have like... 300 and something bullets anyway, so... Whatever. Snack on this, you turds! Squint, this is Valerian. We're on Earth and you've been the last two days. We got a sticky situation here and there. We can't count. Jeez! We can't get through. Anomalies are blocking the way, and we're trying to find a way around them. There, stop the bleeding. Oh, I'm dying. Not anymore. Okay. Shotgun. Hear him. Oh, but I can't see them. There you go. Put on the headlamp. Oh, I got him. One more. I can actually use the Sammo now. Cool. No, 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 no. Ah! You are not getting up. <laughs> Please and thank you. Are you gonna play the other games too? Um, I have already played Shadow of Chernobyl on stream. I do have a, uh, a collection made on Twitch, so if you would like to see that, I do have that on Twitch, and I also do have it on YouTube. Uh, same, same name as my Twitch channel. Um, but I do plan on playing Call of Perpia as well. Like, um... Like, I do want to play all of these games through. Uh, and that's why I didn't just give up on this one, because I really, like, I really want to get through the games. I really want to play them all. So I can see, you know, how they fit into the story. But, yeah. Based. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. I can't play this game on master difficulty. I don't know if I'm if I'm that cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. Master is only hard early on. Yeah, but like see Shadow of Chernobyl, the difficulty didn't ramp up this, this like, this quickly. No gamer, I'll be waiting for you in a case. Like, I played Shadow of Chernobyl all the way through on Master, and it was, like, a significantly easier, I feel. Ooh. Uh... 
21 bandages. There, stop, stop my bleeding, finally. My armor is halfway broke, almost. Do I not need, like, food in this game? Because I've not seen, like, the the hunger thing come up or anything. Jeez. I think that's scripted. Like, that's- this is just- just happens because, yeah, it's supposed to. I think I have all these bandages on me. Okay. I've had enough. You enjoy your time down there. I'm just gonna stay up here. That's what you get. Do not, do not attack me, please. I can use the advantage of second floor ladder. There. I'll naturally heal, and this isn't going to kill me right away if I... Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go back here first. And... Yeah, I'm good. Oh, now my armor... It's still a little bit above half. Is it worth repairing yet, is the question. I'm coming, I'm coming. Great, ooh. Now you actually have this other stuff. Too. See, but you don't have a scope still. Right. Put this... Don't trade this. Put this on so I can see. This isn't any better. This is just the regular. This isn't any better. Well then, okay. Take this, because I can't use this ammo anymore. And I feel like I'm never going to use the dart rounds. So you take those. Because they're like the most expensive shotgun ammo. Slug rounds. Like, I'll use some of these. I don't think I need 200 in something. Hit <laughs> buckshot. They suck, too. Oh, the dart rounds? I thought they would be, like, at least semi-decent. What about slugs? Are slugs okay? They are bad, too. <laughs> okay. Are they like... If they work the same way that they do in Shadow of Chernobyl, they weren't too bad. Basically use automatic rifles for humans and buckshot for mutants. Ah. Uh. See, I think that's the same advice I was getting from someone else in, uh, when I was playing Shadow of Chernobyl. Like, they said to keep the shotgun for mutants and stuff, but I just ended up, like, selling it and just using my, my, uh, rifle. <laughs> like, you can make it work. It's your enjoyment. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, like, what, what I can really say. Like, 
besides, like, I've already talked about difficulty, but in the sense that, like, I'm fine with a game that is, like, difficult, but when it's just so difficult that it feels unfair, it's like, why would I even play on an even harder difficulty if it just doesn't, like, it doesn't feel realistic. That's the problem. Is, like, you can drop an entire mag into an enemy and they don't die. A clear sky is straight up unfair. I mean, but now I'm playing on Stalker difficulty, which feels like Shadow of Chernobyl Master difficulty. It's like they they doubled the difficulty for each like difficulty level. For me, that was the appeal, a half broken game. I mean Yeah. I'm fine with a game being difficult, but I'm not fine with a game being unrealistically difficult. In the sense that your bullets do less than your enemy's bullets do. It just doesn't make sense. That's the problem I have. Is like, if an enemy can put a bullet into my head and I'm dead instantly, why... Well, I guess they do, like, die pretty much instantly, I think, in this game from bullets to the head. Shadow of Chernobyl was worse, I think, for that. Like, at least in this game, headshots actually will kill them instantly. I think in Shadow of Chernobyl, there were chan like there was a chance you could just shoot somebody in the head, and they're just like, they hold their head like, oh, you hit me in the head, but I'm still not dead, so you could still, you know, you potentially don't hit another headshot, so you're just shooting who knows how many more bullets into their chest before they're actually dead. Like, this game, a headshot actually like, I feel like it means more to get a headshot in this game. But I don't know. Well, technically some bullets have no pen. Uh... Oh, like... And some dudes got helmets in Shadow of Chernobyl. No, no, but like, I would shoot... Like, I would shoot bandits in the face and they still don't die. But I guess I was playing Master, but Master still wasn't as bad. Cause like, body shots would still be more damaging than in this game. So it wasn't, like, it still didn't take as much time to kill people as it does in this game. Body shots are terrible in these games. I mean, it depends on what... Okay, 9 by 39. See, but I had... I think I had... Um... 545 by... I think it was 945 by 45 or something, or maybe it was 7... Maybe it was just straight up 762. I don't know. Um, like the Thunder S... 19? I don't know what the gun is anymore. But it's it was basically the, like, modified version of the Thunder that uses the other ammunition from the, like, default. And that... That thing would kill, like, everything. Even, like, the, um... Like, even the exosuit, uh, people weren't too bad with that gun. And, like, I literally picked that off of a, uh... Like, duty member's body, I think. Because they just died somehow, and I don't even know how they died, but I got it for free, so I didn't care. And that was my gun through, like, the rest of the game. Like, I didn't carry any other weapons except for that, because it was just too good. This game, I'm not there yet. I haven't found... I haven't found my gun, really. Like, the AK's... you know, that the AK's the AK. It works okay in this game and that game, so... So far, that's, that's just what I'm gonna use. Those cartridge-swapped weapons seem to work in mysterious ways. AK, they could make bad rounds viable. Well, it's like... Like this now, I swapped over to the 9x18 caliber, and it's still gonna do the same damage. Um, but... I can use a smaller caliber. I can use pistol ammo, which is, like, even more common, so... It's just so much... Like, I feel like it's just so much better... To have that capability. But then again, the Viper 5 doesn't, like... I feel like the Viper 5 is kind of one of those, like spray and hope 
that you kill something. It's not so much a, uh... It's not like the AK where you're like, Yeah, I'm just gonna tap fire and I'll get, I'll get like a headshot and it'll be okay. The Viper is actually good in this game. Simply shoot around the upper body. Yeah. I mean, I... And, well, when I upgraded this, you know... Accuracy, handling, recoil, and caliber all, all is better, so... It's ready to go. I think I'm done trading here. I mean, I really don't know what else I would buy. Because I already have... I mean, I guess I could get one more med kit, but it's like... I feel like that's just... it's just too expensive. You want advice on what weapons to go for, or... Uh... I don't know. I think... I think I'm good for now. I'm guessing this game has, like, the same guns as Shadow of Chernobyl, because it... Like, so far I've only seen guns I've seen in that game, so... I kind of have, like, a... Uh... Like, I feel like I have a general understanding of what to be looking for. And I, like, I think I've used almost all the types of weapons in that game, so... Yeah. The only thing I did not really follow in that game was the shotgun advice, because, like, my gun... I felt like my rifle was good enough where I didn't need to have a shotgun to even worry about, like, dealing with, you know, mutated things. So... This game, though... I'm holding on to it for a little bit. This, but this didn't like... As far as I know, this didn't exist in Shadow of Chernobyl. But it could have, and I just didn't find it, but... As far as I know. Uh... What's going on? I just hear... Explosions. Mutant. And these are stalkers. What's going on? Mutant. They're just mutants. There's people dying over here. Oh, it's bandits. Maybe they're fighting. Mutant. Stalkers. Far outpost. Oh, and now the the ambience just kicks in. Like... Okay, I thought that was like an... Like a bloodsucker, but I don't know if they exist in this game. I'm all ears. Okay. I just have to go back to... Fedorovich. I guess that's how you say it. Like, the name was said so little in Shadow of Chernobyl. I feel like... Or else I may have actually known the pronunciation beforehand. Wait, I have... Yeah, I have energy drinks. And my inventory is not, like, weighing me down, so... I need to drink two of these to get it back. Oh, no, I'm good. What is happening over here? Oh, don't go. Oh. Nope, I'm building radiation. Let me take care of that. These bandits? Or what are these? No, these are stalkers, I think. Yes, okay. Speed up! Speed up! <laughs> oh. Alright, I've already been in here. I need to, like, activate the stash to make it visible to me. 
Ooh. Martha. U.S. Armed Forces. Can't use those. Or maybe I can. It uses that ammo. Actually, a decent pistol, I guess? This can hold 15 in a magazine. I don't know how worth it is though, because I'll have to carry like different ammo for it. Yeah, I, I guess it's like... I feel like it's going to be fairly common to find, so it's not anything to really hold on to. I could always pick it up again if I wanted to. Hello. Ow. Pilka Lucky. There's a nice unoccupied spot nearby. That's where we're going. Okay. Faction loner. Okay, so you just have... You just have an exoskeleton. How can I help you? You can't. Okay, I won't then. Bye. Why are you... What is going on? Why is there so many people, like, moving through here? Important character. Okay. Don't shoot, please don't shoot. Military. What is happening? Like... Faction war- oh. Gimme that. See, this is going to replace. This is going to replace this, probably. Or is it? Accuracy is down, rate of fire, but that's only because this is a double. And it's like, yeah, dual trigger, you just fire it at once. Yeah. But it does the same damage, so I can upgrade it to be, like, just as good, I think. Unload. I'll actually keep this out. Hello, friends. I have returned. Uh. Do back to. Back to the village center. Babe. Hello, friend. Uh, what can you offer me? No. Uh, not any work for me. No. Okay, well, <laughs> nothing then. It says they're an important character and they have a mark on them, but it's like not. Like, there's no missions. Or anything. Thanks for returning the case, Merc. Now I can settle up with my client. The reason I've survived in the zone as long as I have is that I always keep my word. You screw a client in this place and you're pretty likely to find a knife in your back real soon. Anyway, enough about me. About your stalker, he was here. His name is Fang, and he was looking for tube amplifiers and some other electronic crap, but I'm not an expert in that sort of thing. I sold him the amp, but I didn't have the other stuff he was after, so I told him to visit the diggers at the garbage. Recently, some stalkers at the garbage have dug up old buried equipment from after the accident at the Chernobyl NPP, and now the place is filled with all kinds of ancient components. Look for him there. And remember, if you want to trade, I'm your man. Well, thanks for the info. If you need anything else, you're always welcome here. I'm extending you a lifetime store discount for helping me deal with the military. Will you answer my questions? You've been here long? A long, long time. I was one of the first in the zone. Back then, we didn't have radiation detectors or suits, so... Your life expectancy in this place was real short. 
That's why I've never been past the garbage. That sort of thing isn't for me. I've got the brains for a different sort of business. I'm like engine grease. Without me, the engine falters and that means people start fighting. But when I'm around, everyone's happy. Even though the zone is full of wonders, the demand for these wonders is even bigger. Be it from governments, special services, private agencies, or fat cat collectors. I'm their link to this place. I facilitate trade between zone and the outside world. Or between the zone and the outside world. I know all the right people, and I can solve just about any issue without leaving this room. That pretty much sums me up. What can you offer me? My side of the deal is inside the elevator electrical panel. Go ahead and reach in. There's no electricity, though. I can't be sure of the same regarding an anomaly. This guy might be a video game character. <laughs> Yeah. But he is such a stereotype. It's like I have seen him multiple times throughout my life. Oh, this guy. Oh, I see how you said that. This guy might be a video game character, but he is such a stereotype. It's like I've seen him in multiple times throughout my life. Okay. Yeah. Relax, don't be shy. What brings you here? Give me your rocket launcher and, uh... The Dragonov on the wall, please. So what are you after? I already have the chaser now. I don't I? Yes, okay, it's just a so clip on me. That's why it doesn't show. Oh, there it is. Um, I, I, I think I just didn't... Yeah, I didn't comprehend. I forget that this thing exists up here. What if I... Relax, don't be shy. I can trade what this? You here? Go detector? Okay. Come on, tell me what you got for me. It says I can... Wait, what? Relax, don't be shy. What brings you here? Good luck. Okay, so... This means I'm searching for... Artifacts if I have it flipped up like this? I guess? See, I didn't know that till now. So... Inventory. Well, I'm gonna go back, because I want to make Ajit, sure so what are you at? I don't have anything that I want to do here. Take some of my grenades, because I don't need seven, I don't think. Eh. Does nobody sell, like, anti-radiation anything? Made by GSC. Goes down easy and considerably lowers radiation effects. Should be enjoyed in moderation. I guess the vodka is the only thing that works. Or I guess I'd have to go back to like clear sky camp to get more. Uh. Uh, can take more of my buckshot again. Nine by eighteen. Which is ammo I can use. This is all ammo I can use. Guess I can start using bread and stuff to heal because I don't need to actually eat it. So. 
are so far, like, the game hasn't, like, shown, like, on my screen that, you know, oh, my character is hungry. These pistols do more damage than, like, let me see. No, they don't. Okay, I was gonna say, do they do- they- They do just as much damage- damage as, like, an assault rifle. good on ammo. Like, I think I'm just ready to go. There's really nothing, like, that I don't have right now, I guess. If you got something to say, say it. No. So now I have to go to the garbage. Freedom. Bandits. Oh. Bandits. Bandits. Mutant. The Red Forest. Agrophrom. Stalkers. Yantar. Stalkers. Mutant. Bandits. Freedom. Freedom. Dark Valley. Mutant. Mutant. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the Dark Valley, I guess. Because I'm not gonna pay the bandits. Which is just right here, so... Whatever. Yep. Uh... Or it says this way... Okay, yes, this is it, because this is the layout, okay. too much weight. I just like run out of stamina so quick, it feels like. Just pop this out, because I don't think I'm going to be in danger, really, at any point. And just put it away. Swap. But only when I don't have a gun equipped. I, can I swap back to it? What is this? Mutant. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> well, they're gonna be directly in my path, so pull out the shotgun and be ready.
It says mutant, not mutants. So, hopefully, it is just one mutant. Oh, it's a flesh. Oh, nope, it, it's not a mutant, but they don't attack? They don't? Okay. They do. Good thing I have this. go. Okay, save game. Dark Valley. wait for them to spawn in. Then this goes... Okay, so I can go right through here. Actually. Alright. How can I help you? Uh, you're the guitar pal. Um... What the heck is that? that? I don't know, but I'm just gonna go. Gotta watch the path because there's radiation. Is there? Yep, there is. Oh. Well, probably time to use the last of my anti radiation drugs. Should have just passed over, I guess, because. Freedom. But there's bandits on the other side of that. Yep. Didn't do enough to have radiation from it. Is there a way to path without getting... Or pass to get... Without getting radiation? I'm gonna slowly walk. See if I don't get... Irradiated this way. It's not picking up any so far. Yeah, this is here, but it's not an actual door to open. is still fine. Mm 
Is this over here? Doesn't even say. I remember this was like taken by bandits and out of Chernobyl. Okay. Freedom man. Hello, pals. Okay. okay. This way. I guess I'm gonna need to get vodka. Because I still have not come across any anti-radiation drugs. Hopefully this isn't as irradiated as in, uh, Shadow of Chernobyl. Why can't I... I can't talk to you at all, okay? Fine. Whatever. To another location I go. And right there, okay. Completely avoided the uh, bandits. Cool. I ain't oh. too good of hearing. Speak louder. Okay. I want to be going this way. This is not as irradiated as it was in the shadow of Chernobyl. Probably going to be making a lot of connections like that. So wait, what's... There's this up here, but is this actually a place to go? That's odd. Let's try this. That actually startled me. But, uh, thanks for following. Nonetheless. Hey, Merc! Hey, Merc. Hot take. What? Piss off, dude. It's as... It, life's bad enough as it is. The weather is shit, there's no loot to be had, bandits and mutants got all the best places covered. Even if you get lucky and dig up something decent, you ain't gonna get it past the garbage. Someone will damn sure confiscate it. And on top of all of that, Reshi and the boys have gone missing. Is there anything I can do to help? Help, you say? How do I even know I can trust you? Then again, I don't have much of a choice now, do I? I really need this one object from a digger called Freshy. You really want to help me? About Freshy. Well, the situation is like this. Freshy, one of our fellow diggers, was supposed to bring me his old PDA, but he disappeared. He hasn't contacted me, and neither did anyone from his group. But I need the PDA real bad. I'd go myself or send my buddy, Stringov. But for now, both of us need to stay here. Can you bring me the PDA? I suppose, where can I find this Freshy character? I don't know where you can find him, he wanders around a lot, but I can tell you that his camp is south of here, behind the cisterns and the pile of junk. If Freshy is there, tell him <laughs> Wild Napper? I, I don't know how to say that. Sent you. If he's not there, just search his toolbox. The PDA should be in the hidden compartment under a false bottom. Got it? Got it. 
good. <laughs> See you. My best respects to an honest man. <laughs> okay. Have you got... Uh... What do you sell? Oh, you're a trader? Okay. Give me vodka, because apparently I can't find any anti-radiation, so... This will be my anti-radiation. Uh... Or not buy a medkit, rather. I'm just gonna buy the vodka. No need for the medkit. I have 13, so... Yeah. There we go. I don't have anything to really trade. So... Yeah. This way. It's not really a road. Unless oh, there is right here. The bandits try to rob me, I'm just going to fire on them. I don't think there is anyone here though to do that. There we go. There's the old PDA. That open? Your music. Music, but can I get in? Can I even see you? Oh, those are that's a bandit, I think. Yes, okay. The bandits have taken over. I mean, I guess that. Yeah, in Shadow of Chernobyl there were stalkers fighting bandits in there, so I guess that makes sense. Like, they're trying to defend their territory. Wait, yeah, this way. Where's the path that goes in here? Past this, I guess. I keep accidentally hitting O instead of I. Um, I don't want to just go like this way because it's like irradiated. Like, where's the proper way? There. I guess it's on the other side. Whatever, let me pull this out actually, so I can go look. Because this is over here. Okay. 
nothing. Like, this is actually fine in this game, I guess. Because I don't think you could even step close to this without getting radiation. In Shadow of Chernobyl. Yeah, this even has, like, warnings. Okay, yes, this is the way. Got it. Restores my stamina. Oh, rip. What the? Oh, it's a snork. They do just as much damage, I think, as they do in Shadow of Chernobyl. Yeah, it doesn't tell me what it is in this game, though. I gave Fang the component we found in the cache. He wouldn't stop swearing and said he wouldn't pay us until we found the other components. We discussed it between ourselves and decided to send Vasya to speak to him. Vasya is one silver tongue son of a gun. We figured he might be able to talk Fang into paying us at least some of the money. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't run into trouble on the way there. Okay. So I gotta go back over here. Yeah, but the PDA... Mute. At least I get to listen to the sick music for a little bit while I run. No, nope. well, I gotta stop. Okay, now I can go again. your thing. So you been to see Freshie yet? About Freshie. Okay, so where are they? You know, I visited that camp and I didn't see a single living soul there, just piles of bodies torn to shreds. Shit, them too? Some beast is roaming at the garbage at night, killing everyone who's not well armed, which is us, diggers. So far, there hasn't even 
There hasn't been even a single survivor to tell us about it. Damn, the shitty digger existence of ours. With all that's happening, this isn't the best time to feel sorry for yourself, buddy. Yeah, you're right. So, did you bring Freshie's old PDA? Yes, here. Man, you really saved my ass there. Here, take this as your award, okay? Let's see. Here, damn. There's only one and a half grand in here. Looks like he didn't get paid for the last order. Hmm. You see, me and Freshy, may he rest in peace, use this PDA to pass money to each other. Anyway, right now I need the cash badly, but Freshy didn't manage to get together as much as he said he would, so I still need to get two grand from somewhere. Trouble is, I've already emptied every stash. Oh, well, I got vodka and 9 by 19 millimeter PVP rounds. Well, shit happens. Wait, I still have this med kit. This is med kit in need of a customer. You feel like buying it from me? I was planning to sell it for three grand. For three grand. But I'll let you have it. For two. One time deal, what do you say? Medkit, you say? Yeah, only two grand. I'd sell it cheaper, but I really need exactly two thousand. Will you take it? I'll think about it. Dude, I don't know where else I could get this money from. See you. Yeah, uh, I, that does not seem worth it at all for a medkit. One medkit. I'm listening. If you got something to say, say it. Oh, there we go. Huh, what's going on? Damn, you had me worried. Can't you see I'm sleeping? No. Oh, sorry, take care. I'm listening. <laughs> Are you not the marked person? Unless... No, you are the marked person, so then, like, why are you marked? Why can't I, like, ask you anything or whatever? Are you the only trader here? Of course not, there are plenty of fellows doing business here. But we have a rule that the big stuff only gets traded after sundown. During the day, it's just me and my goods. There ain't much to look at kind, but... Come nighttime, the real merchandise comes out and the real business kicks off. Okay? Aren't you afraid of bandits? Sure I am, but what can I do? You gotta make a living somehow. We learned to be careful, though. During the day, we only sell small crap to avoid attracting attention. Even so, we try not to move or breathe too much. Can't be too careful around here. What is this place? Well, this here is the flea market, so I guess that makes us flea marketers. <laughs> but we're traders. We're traders, buddy. We sell small stuff here and there. I'll be straight with you. Our goods are crap, but hey, at least we're still in business, right? So you come to trade or just to chat? What do you sell? Just some junk. I sell what I dig up, you know. That, that and trade, and a trade here and there gets me by. I gotta tell you, in the zone, barter is the way to go. Okay. I mean, you got med kits at least. And ammo. I'll take some bandages. Or will I? 460. When it says they're worth 200. Yeah, maybe I won't, because I have 18, so. So, can I go this way? Or is this like closed off? Oh, I can't go this way. I ain't too good of hearing. Speak louder. <laughs> That's closed off. Yeah. 
grenade. Nothing in there. <laughs> you can't find the way further. Okay. Uh, what a... What a message. You can't find the way further. I mean... Technically, I know the way further. But it doesn't exist in this game, so... Or, not yet. I have no clue if it will, but it doesn't right now, so... Yeah. <laughs> you can't find the way further. Okay. Like... <laughs> then why even have that message there? <laughs> that won't allow you to go past. Oh. Can't find the way further. Can I glitch the way further? That'd be fun. Too exhausted to walk. Cause I was trying to jump. Oh, this just has you slide backwards. Even though it looks like somewhere you could be walking. And it just makes your character tired to try. What's going on over here? What's your business here? What's your business here, pal? Alright, tell me what you know. How can I help you? You can't. Okay. Radiation, go back. Oh, I see. I didn't read the message before. Hidden barrier I'm called destiny. Yeah. Hidden barrier called. The game developers don't want you to go this way, so you can't. Uh. I mean, it's not any. It's not like a marked location on the map. Oh, okay, but you can go through this way, I think. To Yantar. Mutant. Bandits. But I don't want to go that way because there's just bandits. And I don't want to go back this way because there's just bandits. And I don't want to go this way because there's bandits. So really, I want to go this way, because there's freedom. Oh, don't go that way. Directly, I guess. There we go. Hello, friend. I didn't even touch anything. Like, I didn't even... 
I didn't even, like, hit three to pull out my gun. It just happened. Telling me to go back that way. Oh, right, I do need to actually. Yeah, I do need to go this way. Never mind. I forgot to do the thing. I forgot to do the actual main, like, mission. This way. Is this gonna let me go over this? Or no? No. Of course not. Even though you can walk up hills like this normally. But you have to go all the way around. Like this. Just so you can go talk to somebody. Even though there's... As far as I know, there's not any enemies or anything. Yeah, because they're literally right there. So, like, what? I guess if I didn't take the side quest, I would have had to fight the one snork. Oh, boy. But I guess there could be more enemies now. Oh, I hear shooting. I believe that signifies enemies. I don't have stamina, so I can't I can't get there yet. Gotta wait. Here we go. Now I can do it. What are you hey doing buddy, it? watch out! There's a shitload of dogs around here! Climb onto the rocks, quick! Okay. Kill the blind dogs. Uh, okay. Turn off my flashlight now. Uh, they're already dead. Shoot them! Hey now, piss off! Okay, never mind. I had to touch the ground. Even though it said get on the rocks, so like, nice. Good, good trigger. Good trigger point. Works perfectly. Now we'll knock him out cold. Okay. Thanks, buddy. You saved me right there. My name is Vasya. Picture this. I'm on my way west, trying to catch up with this stalker, minding my own business and all. And these eyeless beasts come out of nowhere. I emptied three clips into the damn things, but they just kept on coming and chased me all the way to here. There's no way I'll catch that stalker now. He's got to be in the dark valley at this point. I'm all ears. Oh, you're Fang? Okay. Oh no, you're not Fang. But it says follow Fang. Oh, we're following Fang. We're getting- okay. What can you offer me? Well, I'll give you a tip. Your compensation awaits you inside a stump. <laughs> oh, here we go. How much is gonna set me back? Nope. So, tell me, what's up? What is this? There's like a yellow indicator here. What is this saying? So I have to go follow Fang. <laughs> okay. Mutant. What kind of mutant? Oh, it's a snork. Thanks, dude. Stop by our base and we'll show you our gratitude. Okay. Well, brother, it's a hard knock life for a digger. Okay. Cool. 
I saved you, I guess. I guess that's what the bark was for. Good thing I stuck around. They didn't die. Bandits. So I have to go up here instead. Mutant. Which is... To the right, okay. The same way I came. Let me save. I don't know how long it's been. Garbaggio. Uh. Or right, here we go. Follow Fang. Something. Ooh, there it is. Anti radiation drugs. Finally, some more. game is in a window, so I can barely see it. What's happening over here? Find Freedom's base. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the base now, I guess. One of those dangerous zones. I have an auto save like right here. I see this here, but like. Oh, it just messes with my vision. Oh, that's the, I think that's the, like, the Psy emissions thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's hurting me. Music. Why is it like this? <laughs> it wasn't like this before when I was here. I like it, but... Nothing. And now nothing. Five, bro. <laughs> What's it gonna be? A hard drink or 
for a soft smoke. What's up, dude? How did you become a barman? Oh, there's no dialogue. You don't actually... Well, there's dialogue, but you don't actually say it. You're not asking the right question, bro. You should be asking how... Ganja the barman. Ganja the hookah man. Ganja the man who partied with all sorts of friends in all sorts of places ended up in the zone. But I ain't answering that, bro. That's a negative story, and I'm a positive kind of guy. I find my, s I found myself here. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I was on my own, and I felt cosmic loneliness, bro. Yeah, man, it was real bad. But then I felt positive vibrations coming from freedom. I knew they were my kind of people. I had a choice, but my doubts were gone. I found my freedom. Now I live a better life than most people in that crazy world outside the zone. Here I have enough to drink, enough to smoke, I have the zone and people who share their stories about it with me. Damn, this local weed is just pure suckage. Okay. Go on, share some of your stories about the zone. Oh, here we go. Brother, I'll share everything with you. Brett... Bread, weed, water, vodka, and the sky. And information too. Listen carefully. Deep inside the zone, there are secret labs still active from what I've heard. Strange, eh? How could people survive the emission and still go on without food or power? I wonder if it's even people running those labs. Man, what if it's aliens with their cold, merciless intellect? A brother once told me he intercepted some radio comms about some lab when he was in Yantar. He said the comms were so strange and scary he turned his receiver off real quick. Another fellow once told me he encountered a semi-transparent creature with in a protective suit. Way more advanced than anything stalkers wear, that tr transparent thing told him, Leave, we are working. You are interrupting our work. Then again, supposedly this happened right next to the radar. Don't be quick to believe all that stuff, bro. But then who knows, maybe the zone really did turn those people into pure energy. Get pushed away, Lamau. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they just don't care. And because they, like... Their collision physics are always stronger than yours. So you can never, like... You can't move them, but they can move you. So... What can you offer me? Here we go. You just bought what's under the cross of a stalker's grave next to an old tree. How much is that going to set me back? 550. So what's actually in there? No idea. Got something for me? Sorry, but I ain't got nothing to reward you for yet. Okay, alrighty, bye. Or, well, actually, let me trade. If you wanna lift the elbow, swing by. I'm always here. Okay. I'm, I'm still good on stuff. I actually have anti-radiation drugs now, so... I'll give you, like, three of these. Alright, tell me what you know. How can I help you? Oh, you need me to return the same guitar again? Hey, okay, what is going on in here? What's this? Your backyard? Who let you in? Myself. You chose a bad area for a walk, buddy. Don't you know we're being attacked day and night? Hanging out in our base is dangerous enough, but wearing a freedom jacket will make you a target. 
I'm not wearing a freedom jacket though. I guess I'm, I guess he's just saying because I am in this base at all. I'm looking for a stalker called Fang, ever heard of him? I don't know him personally, some hobo came by a few days ago. He and our chief in some shady business to, oh, had some shady business to discuss. No witnesses, of course, it could have been your guy, but I don't really know. How can I see the leader of freedom? Ha, you sure got... A short temper, buddy. Listen up, forget about seeing the chief while we're in quarantine. I mean, you're just a merc. That said, if you do me a favor of sorts, I'll put in a good word with the big man, so what do you say? Okay, what's the job? A, a pseudo dog has settled down near the base and it's making life hell for us. As soon as it smells food being cooked at the bar, you can kiss your ass goodbye. The boys are all jumpy and nervous because of that damn thing. You can take care of this problem for us and when we, you come back we'll get down to real business consider it done and quit bothering me over nothing I'm busy do you busy. want to earn the respect of fellow stalkers do you want to build a team of loyal friends who will stick up for you in times of trouble do you dream of kicking some dirty ass all this and many other opportunities awaits you Cancel if with this you pit. join freedom Okay. So it's over here, I guess. Don't fall into these pits. Okay, dog, let's go. Where are you at? Go around the radioactive puddle. My gun is reloaded. Just get my stamina back. Okay. And go. it comes back. That's it though? <laughs> like just the one dog? That's that's all you wanted me to take care of? Hello friends. What did you want to tell me? Nothing. Who is it again? I ain't got time for this, you hear? Hey. How's it shaping up, Merc? So did that dog give you the runaround? Doesn't matter, the bottom line, the beast is dead. Alright, your next tax- Oh, okay, here we go. Alright, your t next task is a little tougher. Listen up, we've got to deliver this ammo to our guys at the far outpost. Shoot straight for ass shots. He'll tell you what exactly you have to look and where to. Roger that. You better go monster hunting instead of distracting important people. You just... Okay, you gave me a mission. I'm, I'm going. Well, there's normally like fire down here. Well, in Shadow of Chernobyl. So being able to just like run through here... Real. Okay, there, Bob. Can you hear the, the music? Alrighty, show me your harvest. Okay. Hey, buddy, what will you be needing today? 
the Commandant sent me. I'm here for the ammo. Oh, so he found a hero after all. Why a hero? That's because no one's got the guts to even take a peek at outside. In two days, we've had three attacks on our posts and 15 men dead. And no one has any idea who it was. I've given you a wonderful opportunity to find true friends in freedom. Only in our ranks can you always find someone willing to cover your back and share his last These announcements. with you. Whoever it was, they're always a step ahead of us. They always know where our squad will be next and execute their plan to the T. I can't help feeling it's one of our own leaking information to them. Oh well, here's a package for you from our boys. I've uploaded the coordinates to your PDA. Break a leg. Okay. RGD 5 grenade. 55645. Five, That's what it was. I think it, w it was 55645 five, five was that one gun that I was using in Shadow Chernobyl. Bam, bam, thank you, mercenary! Okay. Ooh. Sunrise suit. I don't have the money for that. <laughs> Here, take grenades. The zone is about stalkers. And being a stalker is about freedom. Being oh, it's a thousand. TSO one scope. See, do I? Okay, so put that on this optical scope. One point six. Does that mean that? Like, it means the PSO one, I think. What's up, dude? How's it going? Let me see. I put the. I don't know if I should get the PSO one or not. You play. With mods on? No, I don't play. I don't have any mods. This is fully vanilla. That's freedom all the way. There's no chores, no brainwashing, and no Heavy. morning wake up thrills. Have this, if you're okay. a real stalker who loves the free life and a good drink in the company. So this was only a hundred before. Now it says it's like five hundred. No Unless it's just like for them, like they'll take it. Oh yeah, they'll take it for more money. Okay. So it's of more value to them. Mods on. Stalker, really? What's on? Okay. I mean... Yeah, I... I don't... Yes, I one. I think I'm gonna buy it because I don't know when I'll be able to get one. Oh, it's 1500, but it says a thousand. Like it says a thousand on the. when you hover over it, but it's like 1500 from them, I guess. Here, take two more of my grenades, so I at least, like, have some more money still. Okay. 9 by 18. I can't even use... Yeah, I can't even use these. So you can take those as well. Now, Tori. Have to 
have this. Yeah, there we go. Oh. I can't break this. I would like to break it, but I can't. Oh, there we go. Jump on it. Is your chance to join the best stalker clan the zone has to offer. Where else would you be? Just fell off of that. Don't lose your freedom. Looks like might be fine if I do. Yep. Okay, I'm good. Let me talk to you. Once. Up to got something for me. Yeah, you helped us out good, buddy. Here's your reward. Peace out, dude! Too bad we didn't roll a joint together. Okay. Well, let me go deliver to the outpost. I guess. Where's the... Going on. Oh, I can't go out this way. Merck, this is Jacob. The outpost was attacked. I don't know if anyone survived, but the PDA is still active. It might contain some useful info. Find it and bring it to me. I heard AKs, I think, so I'll use the AK. Nothing in there. Uh, I got an actual scope of some sort. So. Expect a blood sucker or something like that, so I'll get the shotgun out. Nine by nineteen, yep, I don't want that. I'll take the vodka because I'll just go sell it. For the other gun. <laughs> but isn't it just like literally worse? Yeah, it is. So I don't even want it, actually. Um, which means. I also don't want the ammo. Yeah. Here we go. Get that. I think that's everything. Could pick up. I'm out of here. What 
literally gonna drink this energy drink so I could just run through the base. What's your business here? Hello. So, what did you want to tell me? Howdy, partner. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Well, well, finally we meet face to face. My name is Chekhov, and I'm the boss around here. The recording on the PDA you found clears things up a bit. All the exits from the valley were sealed off, but our outposts and patrols just kept getting hit. A few times we had a patrol leave the base and get slaughtered in no time. The boys started thinking that we offended the zone somehow, and that this was some sort of punishment. We even tried putting together protection charms against ghosts and all, but as we now know, there was nothing mystical about it. The Commandant gave away all our movements. Freaking rat. An unpleasant turn of events. I didn't expect him to do this. I've known him for ages. We hunted for our first artifacts together. We made freedom what it is today. I trusted him with all the operational planning, and he just went and sold us out. Where's the Commandant now? As soon as the outpost conversation was aired on our radio frequency, the Commandant vanished. He knew he was screwed. What we've got to do now is find him. He knows too much, if not everything. All the exits from the valley are secured, so he couldn't have gone too far. We're tracking his PDA. He's near the road to the cordon. A few of our squads are on their way over there. I heard a stalker by the name of Fang was here. Yep, there was a stalker like that. Very interested in rare parts and the like. He must have known that we had the best team in the whole zone. I sold him the part he wanted, and why not? He paid well and didn't even haggle. What I don't know is what he wanted with it. These parts were only used in old army cryptographic machines. He left the base straight away, and nobody's seen him since. You know where Fang could have gone? Yeah. I'll help you. If you help me, that is. Don't take it personally, but we're having a rough time. And if things don't change, Freedom won't have enough men to defend the base from bandit attacks. Help me find out who is attacking us, and I'll give you information about Fang. Deal, what do I do? Find the Commandant and bring him to me, alive. Or dead. Do that, and I'll tell you where you can find Fang. I've uploaded the coordinates of the Commandant's PDA to yours. Agreed. <laughs> Why? Why do you dislike duty so- I haven't even, like, figured out anything about duty. So, like, how am I even asking this question, okay? Why do you dislike duty so much? Dislike, that's a very soft way of putting it. We have nothing in common, and in my opinion, their struggle against the zone only leads to the zone resisting harder. If you look at the evidence, Wherever duty begins their holy war against the zone, mutants anomalies only increase in number. Instead of studying the zone and trying to find a way to coexist, duty is exas exacerbating the problem. The harder they hit the zone, the harder it hits back. And if they keep at it, this will lead to disaster and the end of, all, of us all. Put simply, duty is a faction of your standard dim-winded jarheads who hear nothing, see nothing, and only know how to pull a trigger. We've been fighting pretty much since the moment we got here, and sooner or later, only one faction will remain. What does your clan do? Our clan lives in the zone and studies it in, practical, in a practical sense. I believe that the zone is an unbelievable scientific opportunity for the whole of humanity for several year, years now. The Zone has produced artifacts, which are fantastic research materials, and there are more and more of them every day. As for anomalies, you can recreate the experimental conditions they generate in any lab. I have no doubt that in a few years' time we will see a massive leap in science and other areas of human knowledge thanks to our research here in the Zone. This leap will be felt by everyone, even people whose closest, closest contact with science and technology is their cell phone. 
you know anything interesting about the zone. Tell you all I know, I need much more than a couple minutes. For example, one area in which we're conducting research is stalkers who intuitively feel that no, field is who intuitive or yeah, intu intuitively feel the zone. They never carry any electronics or metal weapons. They even say that weapons and electronics irritate the zone, and in return, it sends monsters to attack the people who carry them and sticks anomalies in their path. They reckon that to be comfortable in the zone, a man needs nothing but his own skills. Pretty much all of them have been warped by the zone in some way, but they survived and even acquired some strange abilities. Some of them intuitively know the way through deadly anomalies others can get out of the thickest forest, and I heard that a few of them even make monsters stay away from them. Rumor has it that one of these fellows settled down at Agriprom. See you later. Alright, enough talking. Let's get to work. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I can leave then. Find the Commandant, okay. Find the... Gind. No, no, no. Find the... Commandant. Like that? I think that's how you spell it, babe. Okay, yes. Okay. your business here ran up here Down. so what did you want to tell me hey you cool dudes and cool bodied comrades if you're looking to be appreciated and treated like family that's freedom all the way there's no chores no brainwashing and no morning wake-up thrills if you're a real stalker who loves the free life and a good drink in the company of like-minded fellas, join right in. We've always got old booze for no blood. That loudspeaker is painfully loud. Like that actually hurt my ears to listen to. Okay, there we go. Find the Commandant. Yes. I think I'm gonna conclude it here for now. Like, I'm far enough in now where it's like, well, and I changed the, the difficulty down now to, like, Stalker, which I don't know what that, like, really means in terms of difficulty, but it's not as bad as Master, so, okay. But yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. And I'm gonna exit this. But yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna keep playing now. Like, I figured out that sometimes you have to take an alternate path to get to where you need to go. Like, I didn't know if I was going to figure out a way to get past the military, and if I didn't, I probably would have stopped playing. And, like, maybe not forever, but maybe I would have looked up a guide finally. But, yeah. Oh. You can't find the evident path in front of you, by the way. Like the, the, well, 
See the the arrow like I was following the arrow and I wasn't looking at the map, so I was just assuming it could be just like Shadow of Chernobyl where it's like, oh yeah, just just follow you know, just follow the marker and you'll you'll get to exactly where you know where you're supposed to go. But this game actually has like multiple pathways. It's not just like move level to level, which that makes see that makes it a little bit less you know linear like it's it's non-linear by that definition in the sense that you can take a different path if you don't want to go you know another way but the only reason so far i've been taking a different path is because i don't want bandits to take my money and i really don't want to fight the bandits so yeah that's that's the only reason why i take an alternate path for now, it's just because I don't feel like dealing with bandits. And I also, like, I want to try to stay neutral. That's that's what I want to do. I want to try to stay neutral throughout this as much as I can, because then I won't have to deal with, like, you know, as many people being hostile and shooting at me. So, overall, it will make, like, you know, like, it might be, like, it might take a little bit more time to go around the bandits but in the long run i'm not gonna have to deal with them as much hopefully yeah i just meant the silly pop-up when you were trying to see what will happen when you pre approach the gate to restock yeah i don't know um <laughs> yeah oh yeah 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 you can't find the evident path in front of you yeah like literally they they let you you know they let you go walk up to it and then they just give you that message but like really they they honestly could have not had that message there and i would have just accepted the fact oh well i can't go this way but no they had to put the message there like i guess for the people who know you can normally go there like in shadow of chernobyl uh but yeah <laughs> Like, they, they could have literally just left no message and it would have been like, okay, well, I just can't go this way, I can't, like, there's no way around it, there's a fence, there's a wall, okay, I'll just go back, but no. Yeah, you, you just, it has a message about you not being able to find the way, even though it's, it's literally just a set of doors, so. And apparently no one has opened those doors either, you know. Like, it just makes you think about it more, and, like, the more you think about it, the... <laughs> like, honestly, I feel like the more you think about it, the dumber it is. Like, who... Like, nobody tried? Nobody at all tried to go through there? At all? Like, or, you know, nobody's guarding it, like, saying it's blocked off or something? No, no, you just can't go through those doors. Those doors are there, but, you know... Who's who's to say you could open them or not? You know, like literally, you could just, you know, somebody could break them down. Whatever, like something could have been done, and like there, it's just, it's just barbed wire fence. Someone could break that barbed wire fence, and that's like, that's the thing. When they close off so many areas with the fences and like doors like that, it just feels so like it just feels dumb, like. Why? You know, when if your game is, like, supposed to be open world, you close it off so much with that. Like, why? Would have been better if they just wrote, just play Shadow of Chernobyl to see the air, that area instead. Yeah. I mean... I don't know. Like... Like me personally, if I was if I was like the developer, I wouldn't I would have not put anything there. Nothing at all. I would have just like left it barren and it's like well normally you can go through there, but like there's there like there's a reason you can't go through there, obviously, but why like why even put a message there if you can't? You know? Like if it opens up later like that that's the only reason I could think of putting a message there somehow a message like it like it's 
it's foreshadowing that eventually you'll be able to go through there, but I have a feeling like like I don't know if you'll actually be able to get in there. I I haven't looked up anything or whatever. I've just been like you know, just playing and guessing where where I'm supposed to go and do anything, but yeah. That's the only reason why I can think of that being there, so maybe it's a potential route uh, in the future or maybe it's not. I I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, anyway, thanks for sticking around. Um like I said, I'll probably I'll probably come back to this at some point. I don't know how long it's going to be before I play again because like you know, I've I've been wanting to stream actually like uh, more often, but uh I've been busy. So yeah. Anyway, anyway, I will. I understand. It's clear sky. No, no, it, it is. A, it's not even the game. Like I did want to come back so I could figure out at least how to get past the military, um, like outpost or whatever. And and I did that. So you know, that's whatever. I I got a lot further than I thought I was going to, honestly. But yeah. Anyway, anyway. I will see you around. Goodbye.